Hello, hello, everybody. It has been like five billion years since we last played Cyber Sleuth. And because a long, long time ago, we got to basically th the jumping off point for the point of no return for the story of Cyber Sleuth. And I went, I'm going to go do some grinding. And I did. And then I just never streamed this again. It is so long ago, I don't even think I had my avatar, my little PNG tuber guy. All that time ago. I don't even really remember, like, the, the fruits of my grinding. I think I evolved a few Digimon, maybe. It's been like five billion years. So we'll have to figure that out. I do remember at least decent chunks of the story. And really, I think that if I'm trying to gauge into my brain, I do believe that Corporation Girl's brother, he died in the digital world and his spirit got eaten. And now his like spirit is locked within like the core super thing of the digital world. And that is partly what is spurring on the destruction of both the digital world and the human world now as they are crossing over and kind of merging. Also, it only was while I was setting all this up that I went and realized we never really were in the digital world this entire time. We were just in digital facsimiles of the internet. So we're going to jump back in and potentially see things of diddly I honestly, I forgot that I spent that much time on this game. But yes, hello. Uh, hello. Let's take a look at my Digimon. Because, yeah, everyone's at level 99. Everyone, except for Brick Dramon for some reason. Why is Brick Dramon not? Yeah, why is that? Okay, we have. Chaos Gallantmon, we have Mastamon, Alphamon Urikin, Magna Angemon, Rosemon BM, Slayer Dramon, Piedmon, Omnimon Zwart, Imperial Dramon DM, Marine Angemon, and then level 1 Break Dramon. And a party size limit of 235. It has been five billion years since we've done this. Is there anything in my uh, digiline that is important? A bunch of trivia things I don't care about. How about friends? Everything seems up there and ready. And then event planner. But okie doke, I think. Because, in fact... Because I think the main reason why I found it ever so slightly annoying to, like, digivolve everybody is because, like, so yeah, we can't do you. We can just take you down. Is everyone at their final level? Apparently, the, we... Huh, I wonder who you can digivolve Chaos Gallantmon from. That isn't War Growlmon. Okay, apparently he has a, a digivolution still. Including a mode change and a diddly D. I did not know that. We might just. And apparently, a Digivol Digivolution for Piedmon is available. And a Magna Angemon Digivolution is also available. Huh. And a Digivolution for Slayer Dramon is also. And our poor level one Brick Dramon will never digivolve up because he requires ABI, and we are trying to finish things here. A part of me almost wants to digivolve. Yeah, that's the one reason why I found uh, Cyber Sleuth just smally annoying to do things with, is because mainly. Because eventually you get to the point where, like, at least for, a, like, a streaming Let's Play kind of format, 
is because you don't want to digivolve things off screen so that you can like, ah, give a reaction. But then that just means that you have to spend a lot of time leveling them again. Hmm. We will at least save. We will save. And we will check out the possible digivolutions that we probably won't keep. So the first one should be Imperial Dramon, which first let's check out that mode change. Oh, stats won't change during a mode change. Can perform a mode change unconditionally. I forget. Well, obviously I remember like this mode change, like the different mode from Adventure 02. I like the design. I like that. But oddly enough, Imperial Dramon uh, this mode is the only one that can digivolve. So let's go ahead and see what he digivolves into. We'll probably roll things back because I need everyone at, like, as maximum power. Then again, digivolving them in. But it would be one thing if I was like, okay, but it is a cool design, though. Hmm. I really should have remembered his stats. Because that might determine things. Magna Angemon. He has multiple things to go through. Because we already... I think I know you. I think I know you. You were also... But weren't you like an, an, a fusion of Hawkmon and Gatomon? I think. Or at least that's what I get from the silhouette. Yeah, we're going to just reload a bunch of times, check out everybody's things. And check out stats. Look, let's see. Your stats. Just gonna try and remember your stats a bit. To see. And let's start off the one at the top, why don't we? Take a last ch gaze upon these things. Kind of. Kind of what uh, the, the Digimon I thought they were. But his stats got nuked down into oblivion. And that is his final form. Slayer Dramon can also. Your stats. So I can remember them. Also, boy howdy, you look badass. How do I not remember you? I am a fool. You look neat. Ah, oh, but that would put us over our limit. It doesn't really matter in the end. What about you? That will definitely put us over. But let's take a look. Piedmon, your stats. Just so I can remember them and lament them when you did evolve. Because I, because I don't know. I don't know how important a full team is. Apocalamon. 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 I just love that he's so tiny up there. He is so tiny. That amuses me. Apoclamon all of a sudden. Gaze upon everyone again. Yeah, just slay slay Jamon. Let's Oh, DNA Digivolution possible. Oh, that's why I evolved that poor man. He's a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> that's the... <laughs> now I remember. I guess I looked up, like, hey, what's the final evolution of all these schmucks? And I went and, like, eh, screw it. Let's go do the thing. Well, bye-bye, Break Dramon. You're gonna get consumed. I was wondering why. I was like, hmm, why is this one guy level one? It's because he's gonna get eaten. But we can make the big bad man? We can make Examon! And we have to delete. <laughs> Apparently we learned far too many skills and they must all be deleted now. Uh, guard charge. 70% accuracy isn't good. Ripping that acceleration boost. Heavy strike one. Panic wisp. 70% accuracy. 
Confuses target, which could be good. Hmm. Let's see. Gale Storm 1. Let's see. Do you have Ice Archery? And we'll get rid of you. You don't seem to have much. God, you have way too many skills. We don't really need neutral attacks, though. Neutral... Neutral is like... I don't know. It's not something I care about. Anti-paralysis. You have a mix of things I could choose from. If only I could choose, like, all of your things at once. Like, that would be interesting. I'm doing all this even though we're... Pen Dragon's Glory. Interesting. Uh, we'll get rid of Attack Break. Because we're not going to be keeping this. Mm, or maybe we should. Because now that we ate that one guy, Apoclamon can come in. And I think that's everything. Except for uh, Magna Angemon's multiple other forms that we might want to take a look at just for funsies. And a part of me wants to keep them in my back pocket and level them up now. If only I was good at evolving these poor fools. So yeah, that's everyone. And we're now we're going to reload. Primarily to take a look at... Oh wait, I forgot. We have to go to the main screen to do that. So yeah. See, this is why I want to save Digivolutions for on-screen reactions, because Examon, Apoclemon, did not expect them. Nobody ever does. All right, let's see. Who else? That was the one dude. He looked pretty cool. But what about this dude? What can you turn into, uh, Angel Man? What else doth thee become? Uh, Jin, apparently. Newt Newt indeed. This is gonna be an odd stream because this is me coming back months after not of not playing with obviously a pre- of a plan from before. And now we're nearing the end and now my brain is going like, hey, did you evolve some of the poor schmucks? Interesting, but we're probably not gonna keep the Jin man. Definitely cool design, though. Definitely a cool design. Window shopping digivolutions we are. Let's see. Yeah, you're cool. You're weird, but kind of cool. What about V? What is your last unknown digivolution to us? Okay, that's a cool design. Shine Greymon! Ah, I beat the final boss of a party of Platinum Numamon. I regret not going, like, because I got to this point, I manually grinded, I did not have the efficient grinding technology at all. And this poor guy doesn't even have, well, I guess we'll keep Shine Greymon because he can maybe eventually digivolve again. <laughs> I did it just for the shits. Definitely sounds a way to break dance on the final dude. Well, Slayer Jermon, let's, I guess, fully digivolve the party and then look around and see what's available to do things. Goodbye, Break Dramon. You were leveled up just to be eaten, apparently. We were going to add a, a night dinosaur and a crane excavator, and we're going to get frickin' Examon. Well, I guess that excavator monster with a knight, dragon knight Examon makes sense. And now we have to tidy up this sh this again. Hmm, 30%, like 30 damages, it's worthless. It's worthless to me. I am a fool, by the way, so if we, if any of the side things, like before, because I will check out some of the side things that stacked up near the end, just to be like, yeah, let's do it, I guess. Uh, we're gonna look into that and probably, oh, that stuns target, though. I don't know any of the strategies. I don't know anything of the good. So this will probably be me fla flandering about. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot, N Numamon. Yeah. You beat the final boss for the shits with the shits. Let's see. 
Eh, but it's like 40 damage, 70% accuracy to stun one target. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> then again, I'm a very poor planner. My, my, my plan of attack is attack. But could confuse target, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know my party composition all that well. Increase the speed, though, for all battle Digimon. So, yeah. We can probably come down here and get rid of these, because those are targeted for singles. Heavy Strike really isn't that good. Really, not for me. It doesn't have type advantage! And type advantage is very important. Alright. Next we're... <laughs> the thing that shocked me, let's, let's bring in Apocalymon! Which is... Again, he looks so freaking tiny up there! <laughs> it's like a little action figure on top of a pedestal. I love it. Let's see, who else? That's... Like, I highly doubt that these poor fools will actually, like, level up to the point of being used, but we can have them. Also, for a moment there, my brain was just like, man, he has a terrible grip on his sword. And like, no, those are gauntlets. I, like, I think that's everyone. I believe... Nope, there's Marine Angemon. Nope. Um, no, the other one. The other Angemon. I am a fool. We forgot. Shane Greymon. We already got him. Meh. And that's everything. We could... We could... Maybe... Like... Do the evil and devour... Like, uh, which is it? Load. We can feed some of our Digimon other Digimon. Even though... Like, maybe. I don't see why not. Like, I don't, I've never done this. That's the thing, that's the problem. I didn't, it, like, go in and use any of these systems, so I don't know how to work it. Then again, it would also be like, ah, oh, Apoclamon is neutral. Huh. Well, I guess let's feed Examon some other Digimon, I guess. Sorry, fools. We're gonna feed you. We're, we're not gonna feed any of the, like, NX ones, because they're the NX ones. We can't do that to the NX ones. That'd be mean. Sure, let's load the Digimon. Digi cannibalism. Which is kind of amusing to me. Cause like through this entire thing is like yeah they're they're Digimon they're living things we're gonna feed them to each other. No, we're not gonna feed Examon Shine Greymon. Shine Greymon is a friend. We'll feed him some of our just random. <laughs> everyone has to eat. Everyone has to eat everyone. We'll at least boost their level a bit, even though like I don't know how like. The ratio of loading versus leveling normally is, like, do you level them normally and then you feed them? Like, I don't know the optimizations to this. Now we're gonna feed, uh, Imperial Dramon Prime Minister. I don't know. I don't know why there's a level 85 Sakuyamon in there. Makes me wonder if I, like, held off in some way. Just give everyone some levels so they get boosted. So if we have to throw them out there, maybe they'll stand a chance in the levels of hell that we have entered. We come on back from n not playing this game for, like, a year or two. And then maybe... <laughs> See about beating this. It's not even like these guys give. Well, they they actually do kind of give some. I thought I had more Digimon to eat. Oh well, goodbye, Sakuyamon. You, <laughs> we we feed you to a Pokemon. <laughs> the optimal way to level is to have three Platinum Mons, which is uh, with as many Tactician USB equipped as they can hold. Yeah, I think I remember, like, after I, like, did my janky 
by hand just fighting everything, like, leveling, that, like, I, I forget, it's been a long time. I think I was aware of it, but I just had no idea how to actually go and do it. How to get those items and stuff. Let's see. I don't even know. Let's talk to you, maybe. It certainly looks that way. Good work coming this far is what I like to say, but there's one final task to complete. Omnimon awaits at the top of the Metropolitan Office. Omnimon? Oh, yeah! Wait. Yeah, he's up there, but I thought that's like to go to the, the digital world, I think. Yeah, this place. Now, how do I... How do I... Tra is there a way to fast travel? I forget. My br This is the problem. I'm a terrible human being. Just a absolutely terrible. So let's see. Well, I guess I can get into, like, one fight. And, uh... Let's see. Let's get into a fight and see how things go. Let's see, if I remember things again. Let's see. It's been like five billion years. Goodbye. This is just to get back into things, get the feel going again. As well as to see how much experience everything gives to the dudes. Not bad. But yeah. I think if we head back up, they'll be like, Hey, would you like to go do other things? And we can go do other things before. Because I think there's like the soup... Or we could just leave. Oh, I think... Th Exit? Oh, no, that's it. Because ah. this is the wrong one. I am a fool. I am the double fool. Yeah, because there should be, like, a way to go... Something I need to do for me. I can count on you to handle it. I I'll make sure to follow the paperwork at your place. Oh, yeah, we have to go back there. Because I think one of these dudes will send us back. Getting the Digimons is the easy part, to be honest. The items are a rare drop from Platinum Numamon, Metal Edamon, and Prince Mamamon battles. Ooh. Rare drops. So that's probably why I never got them. <laughs> All the time I've been trying to do something about Eden on my own, but each time I tried, my methods were off. But this time, everything's just right. <laughs> but there's a way to farm them. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you can make your, like, minions in the farmlands do some, like, creations. Yeah, we can head back. Not just yet. Anytime you want to head out? Oh, yep, so Omnimon will take us to the final thing. They're a rare result from the 1,000 yen development. Hmm. It's important. Have you got your tissues, teeth brushed, gone to the bathroom? You don't want to have to go in the heat of the moment. That would be awkward. Let's talk to this guy. How you doing? I've been hesitant to approach you, but as you can see, I was separated from the boy and returned to my own body. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot! You died! How are you back? The best way to farm them is to save scum. Of course. And that's just the way. You want optimal, you have to fight for it. I suppose that was ancillary to your plan to save the boy. I owe you my thanks nonetheless. But I stand behind my actions, as does he. I'm afraid we have no intention of reconciling. That said, I hope to see the conclusion you've chosen through to the end. Sadly, with the damage I've taken, I can offer no further help. Please, the futures of both the digital and the human worlds are depending on you. Let me guess, that is the nobody's asking a question. Trivia time, I don't care. <laughs> you are not real. You are, you are canned laughter to me. Well, let's head back to the office. Yes. A billion cases have been added. Okay. Huh. 
Huh? Okay, there's a lot to do. <laughs> well, I guess this might not be the finale, depending how long these all go. I mean, you have a minimum of 20 minutes between each development, and that's assuming you have 10 builders in your farm. True. Let's see. Beomon's dream is to fly through the sky, but no matter how much Beomon tries, it's no good. Help Beomon out! And we get another bank expansion. Sure, let's try it, I guess. Why not? And where is that? Place Shinjuku. Off we go to Shinjuku. I could have sworn that I checked that... That diddly D. And there was only a scant few side quests to do. So this might not be the finale like I thought it was. I thought there was just like super duper oblivion, super late game things. And then five billion more things came out to fight me. Here, Bioman. Bioman! Hi, are you the one who can solve my problem? I love this guy so much, but I can barely fly at all. My dream is to one day fly up into that blue sky. Do you think I'll ever be able to? I guess talk to a Digimon who can fly. So you think I should have talked to a Digimon who can fly before I talk to a detective then? That's right, Hawkmon. I'm sure that guy can teach me how to fly well. I'm pretty sure Hawkmon is in Shibuya. I'll go after I finish my chores, so you go ahead first. You have chores? Why do you have chores? <laughs> I don't know why. That amuses me, the idea of a... <laughs> okay, okay. More crowded than ever before. It's up to us to keep the peace. So best way to farm up the items is to set up a farm with five developer know-how, fill the farm with ten builder personality, and then save after 19 minutes, 45 seconds into the development. Yeah, and then I think we need to... Stealth hide. And then we can walk by them, I think. I don't think we need to go that way. I think we need to go the other way. Down this way. It's been a long time. <laughs> and then do that five times because it yields two and you'll only ever need nine. Eh. No, that's Falcomon. Ah, you're late. Looks like you got here first. Hi there. So, what can I do for you? Well, I really want to learn how to fly well. Please, you gotta teach me how to fly like you. I see. You're, you're really awful at flying. Harsh, Hawkmon. Really awful? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say really terrible. <laughs> What's the difference, Hawkmon? Weird way of flying? Huh? Uh, excuse me, I didn't say such a... I didn't say such a thing. It's useless. I'm already mad at you. I come all this way and, and, and don't just insult me like that. You should be careful, Hawkmon. Watch your step. I... Uh, hey, you over there. Could you help me out? I don't know what is going on here. But Beomon... Calm... Mm, let's see. Also, I think... This is, like, the first time that we've had, like... In a long time, this is, like, the... One of the few times that we have, like, different options to choose from, I recall. A lot of the time, it felt like the options blended together. Let's see. Do we want to calm down, or you're not being very nice? He was very blunt. And it's just, like, that's kind of why Bioman came to talk to you. Because they aren't good at flying and they want to learn. <laughs> you should know by now that options you have absolutely no bearing on anything that happens in the story. Yeah, it just amuses me that it gives me the illusion. I apologize, of course, but Beomon is furious now and won't listen to anything I'm saying. Please stop, Beomon. Here I come. <laughs> Please help me beat up this child. This is amusing to me. How are you alive? <laughs> this one Beomon surpasses all others. It is immortal. I still find it highly amusing that like lower 
quote-unquote level Digimon. Or just like, yeah, I'm going to live forever against you. <laughs> just amuses me, so. Ouch! Beelmon, are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry, Hawkmon. Huh? I know I came here because I wanted you to teach me how to fly, but... No one will ever teach me to fly if such small things make me so angry. No, you took great pains to come here and ask me for help, and I've been very rude to you, for which I am sorry. Well, let's take a short rest and then begin your flight training, shall we? Yeah! Such is a wacky world of fused Digimon life. Who knows, if all of them are as quick as that, maybe things will... Maybe this will be the finale, depending on how l much story there is. But that amuses me. And we got a sleuth rank up all of a sudden! Great work. What do you say I pour you a cup of coffee for your trouble? Well, yes, the infamous coffee. Out to devour our souls. But I wonder what the parallel world ones are. Those are probably the super duper end game ones that are out to destroy you. Yeah, because they're like... Gluttony, wrath, sloth, greed, pride, lust, envy. So let's see. Oh yeah, and there's also all the worthless ones down here. So let's see. Wait, Boy A. <laughs> Poor Beomon, no matter what game she's in, she's portrayed as a flightless chicken. That is kind of sad. Although I do remember, like, I think in, like, the original adventure, she at least kind of flew sometimes. Kind of badly, but she still flew. But maybe in the games it's a running gag. Broken sleep. Sleep-deprived person. Don't give us your name or anything. It's way too noisy outside. This Digimon won't stop fighting each other. Go tell them to stop. I'm scared. Ah, sure. Let's go to Shinjuku. <laughs> but that's hilarious. It's just like, they're making so much noise. Tell them to stop. I'm scared. You're sending mixed messages to me, really. Let's see. Are you deeper in somehow? We have to sneak by? Oh. I guess we're not e we're not even gonna meet them. So we meet again, Leomon. Today I will have my revenge at long last. I drove you away yesterday, but here you are again. You never learn very well. Let's fight! Ah! Ah! Cyclamon and Leomon charge into battle with a scream. <laughs> oh, f <laughs> look a UFO! In Digimon World, you have to recruit Birdramon before you can recruit Beomon, because Beomon won't join you until you know someone that can teach her how to fly. That is amusing to me. That is hilarious. I'll fight you! Neither of them stop. Next you try yelling, hey idiots! Who are you? What do you want? Did you just call us idiots? What's your problem? Listen to me, all that's been keeping me alive has been the thought of exacting revenge on Leomon for this smashed up right eye of mine. This is the day I shall finally have my revenge. Stay out of this! I too have a reason for fighting. Must one not stand and defend oneself when attacked? Leave us in peace to fight! No. Your person. <laughs> I keep forgetting that this game has language. It still punches me in the face every time. You're a persistent little bastard. If you really want to stop us, you're going to have to do it by force! Which is what I wanted to do all along. And now they will fight alongside each other. Because they are fools. That is... Oh yeah, I forgot. These guys... Again, I keep forgetting. Reduces... Sure, why not? Chaos Degradation. I will focus down you. Again, my plan of attack is just attack. How much damage will you do? Not that much, mainly because my team is actually, like, 
decent. Defense penetrating extra strong neutral attack. I do like the special animations that <laughs> And then he's just dead! Defense penetrating indeed! <laughs> indeed, I see! It doesn't really look like restores HP. We don't need that right now. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just smack you some till you're dead. Judica Prism. Always hits and undoes any stat reductions. Let's see. Looking through again, because... Again, it's been five billion years since I've played this... I guess we can just lower his defense a bit. Won't help much, because... Meh, but still. And let's blast him with some napalm. Explosion. He just stands still. He is not harmed at all. Pooh! Critical! Yay! And let's blast him with some water! <laughs> Another critical! Poor guy! Double critical! What a poor man. Who do you think you are? Blast! How annoying! You won fair and square. Cyclone Mon, we lost so we are now obligated to listen. Don't you tell me what to do! Right, let's finish this somewhere else, shall we? Indeed, a large secluded place would be best. Ah, yes! I can see it now. You writhing on the ground in agony! That's what you think! Then it turns out they're arguing over, like... I don't know. Leomon accidentally tripping Cyclone Mon and it bashed up his eye. They're actually good friends. It's just, <laughs> they smack each other up because they're Digimon. And now we need to uh, rejuvenate your power. I do like how easy and nice it is. And that's not what I meant to do at all. I am a sham. It's been like five billion years. Do you have anything that's like worth it to me? I guess I can buy more of these. I have a lot of money. Jesus Christ, we have a lot of money. I should just buy everything while we're here. I forget if I was, like, saving up for anything. I don't know. Uh, we probably don't need that many because I already have a lot. But we should buy some for out-of-battle healing. Granted, we already have a lot. For some reason, I thought I would have less. Hmm. I guess a few small ones for out of battle SP recovery. Multi recovery. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's a difference between. Ooh. Revives one at full. Doesn't seem like they have sprays, though. Revival sprays are quite broken. I guess I'll buy just a few more of these, top off. Maybe a few for outside of battle recovery. I find it funny. We didn't even meet our insomnia client. We just beat up the Digimon and they ran away. Be amusing if they're like, you did, you f just fought them. You just made more noise. Two faces, Anjumon and Akihabara. My Digimon, my Digimon is out of control in this world. But well, you are a Digimon and won't leave the humans alone. Bring it back so I can scold it. So I guess it's just like a Digimon under your care. Okie okay, doke, okay. sure. Off to Akihabara we go. Ah, oh, we just get teleported for some reason. Hi. Thank you for taking the trouble to come here. Much appreciated. I believe you are the famous Cyber Sleuth, correct? I intend to punish Devimon, as he has been wreaking havoc on both humans and other Digimon. Please, would you bring him to me? You don't need to punish him yourself. I will take care of that part. 
Please help me make sure that he sees the error of his ways. Sure. Where is he then? Hello, Beomon. <laughs> Do you think they're just intense fans? I wonder where he wants him to be. Is he in the dungeon? That's entirely possible. Because I feel like there's a dungeon near here. Or is my brain just melting? So he summoned us here. I wonder where Devimon is. Am I dumb? Am I being dumb? I'm probably being dumb. Maybe we need to talk to him again and he'll give us a hint? Or do we need to just bring him any Devimon? I've seen so many awful things. Before any more harm is done, I need you to bring me Devimon. He's wandering around downtown somewhere, no doubt. Wandering around somewhere downtown. I forget. Is there like extra ways? Let's look at the map. When in doubt, map. Yes, there's only hmm. downtown, though, he says. I don't know where downtown would be. Let's see. Shibuya. I guess we can just wander around everywhere looking for a Devimon. Would be amusing if it was <laughs> the game just without telling you meant bring a Devimon to him. That would be amusing. Probably not what they mean though. You've got to evacuate immediately. Do you see the giant Digimon I have with me? I shall merely go invisible before you. You will not react at all, and I shall just walk past you. Because you are a silly human being. Downside to having big Digimon with lots of power. <laughs> they block the camera. Uh, hello, I forgot about you. Thanks for finding me! Victory present! I got a tactician USB. Next time I won't be so easy to spot! Climactic victory! I was looking for a Devimon, actually, if you could tell me where they are. Hello there. How do you know about the famous sites if you're from the digital world? So this is the human world. I will see. <laughs> oh, need a free tactician USB. Stick down one of your Digimon and you'll get a bit more XP per battle. I was going to say that, then I got distracted for some reason. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a Devimon here. I don't even know where downtown is. I don't live in Japan. Wrong button. But I probably should. Well, I was wondering what was happening. We went invisible and gave everybody a heart attack. We probably should give somebody... Because it has to be a Digimon who is in combat. Because that's just 10 extra things, so it might not be good for you. What about you? Energy disc. More uh, HP and SP. Well, sure. And you, attack type. But that's 20 more attack. Hmm. I guess we'll get rid of your Sage Disc. I forget. I think I might have left some Tactician USBs on people somewhere. I was very careless with them. I have a lot! A lot of research USBs! Tactician USB. Ding. Or who knows, maybe that's like the only one I have. I forget. I think I gave everybody random items. Just random items. Could have sworn that I had one. Like another USB. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I'm a fool. I'm not gonna talk to you. You're not a real... You're not a real... Well, and then Shibuya... I wonder what downtown that Anjumon meant. 
Downtown where, Anjuman? Wouldn't you be, like, hanging around the downtown? Oh, <laughs> there's the Anjuman! The situation here could escalate to a Code Red Omega Dark level disaster in no time! All non-military personnel need to get out! What kind of... <laughs> okay. Interesting. Huh? Anjuman is looking for me. <laughs> Forget it. Jeez, you don't take no for an answer. Why the hell should I have to come to him? You tell that jerk if he wants me, he can come get me himself. Why is he acting like... I don't know, like, like a disgraced girlfriend. Ah, you're back. How did it go? Oh, but he's not with you? Yeah, he said come get him yourself. What? He told me to come get him myself? You took this case, didn't you? Why did you give up so easily? That guy's never gonna... <sighs> Just do it! Right now! Just bring him here already! <laughs> All these Digimon are so temperamental. How dare you smack Alphamon with your stick? That's very rude of you. Let's see. Destruction. Oh, destruction cannons? Good against you. Die. Oh no, he has a lot of health. I guess we could do just chaos degradation a bit. See how well that goes. 25%! I throw you into a black hole. Won't be good for you at all, so we shall just milk and napalm you. Who are you gonna smack with your holy light? Again, Alphamon. Do you just have eight Alphamon? What's your deal? Blast him in the face again! And we'll just. Alright. I need to, to pay closer attention. I missed a, I thought it was going to be a chaos degradation. I missed the order of combat. This Angemon is a fast little man, ain't he? Let's see. I'll blast you again. I guess we could just smack him normally. Don't have to waste SP on him. He just keeps spinning his stick. He summoned a hand. Ah, Zrox combat time! It's been a bit since we've seen one of these. And now he's dead. Uh, uh, just what I'd expect from the famous cyber sleuth. I'm sorry for getting angry at you. I apologize. Even though you didn't bring Devimon to me as an apology, I will send your payment anyway. But I'm in a hurry, so I've got to be going now. You jerk, Devimon bastard! How many times have I told you not to bother people, huh? <laughs> Weird. I figured that we would tell him. He would go, oh, fine, you found him. I'll go do it myself. Is, are they here? No, they're not here. <laughs> I don't understand at all. These Digimon are weird creatures. I could have sworn that, like, the other, like, quests that I did weren't as wonky as that. And that includes the weird, like, fanboy quest. I do like the mental image of our boss just, like... Sitting there, it's like, yeah, the world's going to hell, but <laughs> you're doing your job as a cyber sleuth. Oh, yeah, Dr. Datamon. I am a famous expert at making Digimon medicine. Call me Dr. Datamon. I need help with my final experiment. I'm with a memory up. Neat. We'll go to Dr. Datamon. I wonder why that Anjumon teleported us, but none of the other ones do. I wonder if there's, like, something specific about it, or if it's just random. Like, I don't understand it. I don't get it. It's not what I wanted. I'm a fool. I meant items. 
My brain is on fire. Oh. Heal them slightly, see if there's any... You need a bit more SP? You need a bit more SP. But yeah, I wonder what dictates the ones that teleport you and the ones that don't. Let's see, Dr. Adamon. Here you are. Let's quickly save, because paranoia, paranoia, everybody's coming to get me. We're just here to finish off a few of these, at least these base level side quests. Dr. Datamon! Hi! Thank you for coming here, Detective. I'm Datamon. People refer to me as Dr. Datamon out of respect. Hmm? I've introduced myself three times now. Well, I always introduce myself. That's sort of my thing. Just because you've, you're paranoid doesn't mean there aren't really out to get you. True. This time, as well you know, I need your assistance in testing out this newly perfected medicine. And here it is. Datamon Trial Med. Please don't worry. This time there has been no mistake. This is the genuine article, my most recent work. Well, congratulations on this one, then. Well, I'm actually a little worried about this one, too, to be honest, but thank you. There's a Digimon in this digital space called Rust Tyranimon. Recently, I discovered a deadly new disease. It causes the victim to lose control and go on a rampage against their will. But surely with the amazing ingredients that you have managed to procure and my knowledge and skills, this medicine should be most effective. This is a string? So, what well, we are... What do you mean, go get those ingredients? We gave him the ingredients, that's why we have the medicine now! This is a strength tonic, then? Please don't misunderstand, this is no mere vitamin drink. It should strengthen the body's immune system, thereby allowing you to fight off disease and recover more effectively. Rust Tyranomon suddenly became tired, and that's when the rampaging started, it would seem. But if he was tired, wouldn't his rampaging not be all that effective? Because he's tired. So the current hypothesis is that he will not rampage if he is not tired. Or he'll just rampage worse. Because he'll have more energy to do that. Are you really a doctor? I think it is worth trying out. Okay, this time I'll come along too. I would like to see the effects of the medicine firsthand. But you should know beforehand, before we go. I don't plan on going far from this dungeon. So if you go too far, you can find me back here waiting for you. We have to go make sure that Rust Tyranimon doesn't get away. So shall we go? And now we have little Dr. Datamon with us. I swear, it has to be because of Digimon Adventure that every single time I see a Datamon, I'm like, you're gonna fucking be a maniac, aren't you? It's just like in the back of my mind eternally. Awaiting for him to like stab us. He is following me the closest. Been a bit since we ran into you guys. Let's see. Let's just uh, smack Rapidmon, and he'll like die in one hit. <laughs> because these are not event diddly dees. They're just here, which means they have no health whatsoever. If they're a part of a quest, suddenly they're gods, eternal. Where's Tyranimon? He must be teleporting in deeper in. I forget. Have we run into a Rust Tyranimon? I forget. It's been five billion years. Here, Rust Tyranimon. We we heard you're tired. We can make you not tired so you can rampage even worse. So, oh, hey, he's here. G it seems he started to go crazy. We must stop this at once. Please help me. Ah, the best way to uh, to give medicine to a robot dinosaur. Violence! At least we have an immortal ally on our side. Well, actually, yeah. Fucking smack him with the super attack. Will he die in one hit? That'd be hilarious. Ah, half health. Half health is nice. And another uh, combo! Ah, oh, we didn't get to kill him. <laughs> Quick, give Rust Tyranimon the medicine! You throw Datamon Trial Med into Rust Tyranimon's mouth. So? Uh... Huh? Who the hell are you guys? You're going crazy, Rust Tyranimon. 
The exact reasons are as yet unclear, but your illness appears to first make you fatigued and then cause you to rampage. So this medicine is designed to restore your stamina. Okay, the medicine seems to work. I see, you're the famous Dr. Datamon. Thank you for helping me. This medicine is amazing. It's completely got rid of the pain I've been feeling. I feel like I'm bursting with energy. My body feels so light. Indeed, I've done pretty well with this. Of course, Platinum Sukumon's thing was very effective. I still don't understand why it's called that. I, I forgot, but now I remember. Why is it called just a thing? Digimon is weird. Huh? Platinum Sukumon's thing is very effective in repairing bodily functions. Wow, is it amazing how useful excrement can be, Detective? <laughs> so, what I just drank a second ago... That came out of Platinum Sukabot's body. When you say thing, you mean it's... Ah, that's right. Uh, did I say something strange? The thing? I just drank Platinum Sukabot's thing? Ah! Oh, detective. I just remembered some urgent business. You need to convince him. Please, you've got to do it. <laughs> do we have to fight him again? You knew about that thing that was in this medicine? Sorry. Apologies aren't good enough! We have to fight him again! That's hilarious. That's, that's genuinely hilarious. We healed you, and now we gotta fight you again! That is genuinely quite hilarious. <laughs> A critical hit, goodbye. Very amusing. This is just awful! It's not, uh, it's not that I lost to you. The annoying thing is that your stupid poop medicine worked, and I can fight much better now. So I suppose this is the power of Su Platinum Sukumon's thing. To be fair, apparently, like, <laughs> the poopmon in this game are apparently exceedingly powerful. What the medicine is made from doesn't matter. It worked. I'm sorry for getting mad at you guys. I should really go and apologize to Dr. Datamon later, too. Ah, you're back. That was tough. I'm really sorry, but I had to go. I had very urgent business, and there was nothing I could do. <laughs> Please say something. I can't stand it when you ignore me. <clears throat> anyway, let's just be grateful that this new medicine works. The next step is to package the product for retail and all that. I'm not sure how long that will take, but I'll give it my best shot. Detective, you have to help me out numerous times. You've helped you have helped me out numerous times now. With this, we will be able to help many Digimon. I want to thank you for your help. However, with this particular medicine, it's probably best if you don't go announcing the ingredients to the whole world. Such is the wacky world of medicine. They do use some weird ingredients sometimes. <laughs> I love it that you have to fight him twice. He's fatigued and on a rampage. And then you give him the medicine, making him not fatigued and still on a rampage. Against you, specifically. It's thanks to the warmth and generosity of others that people in Digimon alike can keep going. That's how I feel. We've still got lots to do. Indeed we do. I do wonder what everybody else thinks. They're just like, hmm. Here we are waiting for, like, uh, to go and, like, save the world. Meanwhile, our detective buddy is just out there doing more detective work. Terrier Mon's exclusive scoop. Boy A or Rina Shinomiya's challenge. That'll be interesting. But let's go do Boy A. Arata Sanada. Tokyo Metropolitan Office. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that his thing? I want to settle something from the past. The target is under zero. The purpose is revenge. Death Barrier DX. All right. The place is under zero. Uh, and the Tokyo Metropolitan Office. Oh, good. We get teleported. So, you'll come along with me after all? Great. Thanks a lot, Neon. I mean it. 
There's only one thing I have in mind for us to do, and that's go out and capture me a really strong Digimon. All the crap I've had to put up with lately has meant I'm short on new Digimon, and that's not good, not in the least. Besides, I also have some revenge that I need to exact sooner rather than later. Let's get going, Neon. We're going to Under Zero. I'm sure you remember, but to get to Under Zero, we have to go through the Valhalla server. Oh yeah, that place. This won't be easy, but I trust you to get us through. I can count on you, right, Neon? Of course you can, I'm the protagonist. We just need to go and find a port back in there. Because we... Wait, no. Wait, can we? No. We need to find an actual way in, so I guess we have to teleport away. Just like he did, apparently. I find the fire's just like, you came all this way just to go back to the office. <laughs> yes. Now we need to head to the Valhalla server, if we can. I forget how to get there exactly. Again, it's been five billion years. Let's see. Kowloon, Zaxxon, Valhalla server. I think I got all the items here last time, so I don't think we have much to worry about. It's just needing to get there. And none of the Digimon should really be able to hold a candle to us, since my main team is out in force. My big beefy knights and angel demon lady. Well, speak of the little ship. Hello, Platinum Sukumon. Would you uh, uh, care to uh, drop things of importance as you die in one hit? We got a bug barrier and a lot of experience for everybody. Maybe once we actually go to do the super hard stuff, we'll actually be at decent level to use. I don't care, Gallantmon and X. I sacrificed all the farms to power up my Digimon. Which is one hilarious thing, because in a lot of Digimon media, they're like, Digimon are real creatures too. Meanwhile, I just fed a bunch of Digimon into another to power them up. Totally not unethical here. Ah, uh, yes. It, it definitely took us so long to get here. When I went with some Jude guys to take on Under Zero, we had been unstoppable in Eden up until then. Nobody could beat us. Adults, cops, nobody. We figured Under Zero would be the same way, even with its reputation for being impregnable. But we hit a snag. When we got to the Outer Wall... A security Digimon showed up and kicked our asses. It was a complete and utter wash. Back then, we didn't know anything about Digimon programs at all. We were only capable of doing analog hacking, which made us completely powerless to fight back. All we could do was grab our asses and run. Some of my buddies went crazy from the fear they felt then. Even the guys that were okay, they saw what they were up against and lost confidence in themselves. The whole thing made it vividly clear to us that we were little more than a pack of arrogant brats running wild. We let our pride get to us, to the point where we bit off more than we could chew. The higher you rise, the farther you fall and all that. And one by one, people quit being hackers. It was the end of the legendary hacker group Jude. I felt sorry for myself and hated to see it go. It sucked being powerless to let them to stop them from leaving the team. I also had a constant fear in me I couldn't shake. Just remembering that time was enough to make me tremble with trauma. I didn't want anyone seeing me like that, though. So I tried to buck up and make it seem like I was fine. So that's why I see this as revenge. I'll make that security Digimon's power my own, and finally rid myself of this regret. I'm not that punk-ass kid I once was back then. I'm better than that. Better than my past. Now come on. Let's go. Let's go kick some other kind of punk-ass. 
Not what I expected. It's just a night guy. <laughs> so you're still standing guard here. Color, color me happy. It's nice to see you again. I don't. Who are you? Don't tell me you've forgotten now. Holy Land Guard Knight. It seems that I have. At the very least, you're not in my memory banks. <laughs> I knew it. I mean, it makes sense. Why would you? You beat us so fast. But I remember. Hell, I could never forget you. I don't understand what it is you're speaking of. But any intrusion will not be tolerated. Ah, uh, yes, of course. This is just how it went the first time, too. Seriously, this is great. Wouldn't have it any other way. You're perfect just the way you are. Unlike you, though, I'm a changed man. My legs don't shake and my mind's cleared up now. I've grown up. I'm here to get vengeance for my friends. I'll kick your ass and march right on through. I won't lose this time. Not with my friend Neon at my side here. <laughs> Just talk to the hand, he says. Hit charge, huh? It's gonna hit harder, huh? Let's see. Ah, uh, well, it's defense piercing, so maybe it'll still be good. Oh no. Chaos degradation. Ah, oh, this guy is uh, strong against both these guys. We might have to actually swap them out. Smack him with some disaster. Why do you still have that guy? I thought you would have eaten him by now. Then again, he actually did a lot of damage. Let's see. Let's swap out... You with... Because I forget the type chart entirely. Maybe we can send out Apoclamon and see how long he lasts. And then Mastamon. Because, let's see. Maybe send in Rosemon BM. It's been a long time. I forget the type chart. <laughs> Again, he's just a tiny action figure on top of a pedestal. It's hilarious. Oh, no. Not Guts. And what? The fuck? Okay. Virus data vaccine virus. <laughs> okay, this guy has some moves. That was horrifying. And I think that also got rid of my healer, too. Oh, wait, no. Marine Angemon, uh, swap out with Mastamon and we can revive some people, maybe. So that was like a zero damage. And... Jesus. We... <laughs> I did not expect him to have just a one-hit kill die move. How very rude. Let's see, I have, uh... Well, I, I mean, I guess I could use a revive. I forget. Does this is this game as mean as other games? Like, oh, they are knocked out. They don't get heals. Nobody expects the one-hit kill move <laughs> Inquisition. Yeah. Wait, does that also mean that they stay dead? Nope. Okay. That would be amusing. It's just like this is a move that keeps them dead because we want you to suffer. That would actually be horrific. Well, we might as well use our most powerful attack. At least for the animation, to make me feel good. Because I saw the zero damage pop up, and I was like, haha, take that! And then he immediately went and. Uh... Hmm. I wonder why I can't do that. Revives one battle member, and I can't use it. Weird. But I guess I can just yeah! knock off some of his health. I was going to use Revive, but I can't use Revive, and I wonder why. Pendragon's Glory, let's see it. Why not? Get Examond, fool! 
It does 87 damage. Oh, hey, he's going to do the one hit and kill move again. Oh, it missed. Yay. But yeah, that is utterly horrifying. And then on Omnimon's warts move, we will revive Rosemon. But yeah, I just didn't expect, like, a one-hit kill move that kills everybody. My poor Apoclamon didn't even get to do anything. Let's write him up. Causes knockback. I mean, let's see it, I guess. Alright, Omnimon. Bring in a Pucklamon, why don't you? A Pucklamon deserves moves and <laughs> watch him get one hit KO'd again. That'd be the icing on the cake. Smack him with some demonic disaster. <laughs> Get a critical hit for a moment. I thought he died. Okay, he's just going to raise his attack again. C fixed damage. Neat. I really should look over all their moves. Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Get that pizza crust, pal. At least against, I guess at least that goes to show that maybe my team is, like, maybe not b b b great, but not terrible. Are you going to Digivolve? He still looks utterly horrifying. <laughs> you know what? I feel at peace now. I've probably been a burden to you guys with the Digimon I've kept with me up until now. But now that I've got this guy... I think I can go on with you all. I want to see this thing through to the end. <laughs> Don't make me say it, seriously. <sighs> Damn it, didn't I tell you before? Who have the steering already? Jeez. You may have, you may went crazy. I think with that, this case is closed now. So thanks. I'm going to stay here a little longer. I think if that's all right with you. Sure thing, bro. Sure, you might have went crazy that one time. Uh, where's the exit? Where's the exit to this platform? Oh yeah, I forgot. I was going to look over everything. First things first, we need to head to items and revive some people. Or I guess, I guess everyone's already revived. I am the fool. Oh, then the secondary, we need to heal everybody back up. Oh, we don't even need to use revives outside of combat. Huh, I am a double fool. I am the almighty fool. I completely forget everything. And now we need to settings our Digimon. Put some moves on there. Like Hydro Water. I think there's a. Let's see. Because I think that might be good. Hmm. Maybe add some of that. Anti Sleep, maybe. I can stay. And I guess we can throw Panic Wisp in there to maybe cause confusion. Then again, aren't, like, every single frickin', like, high-level monster in this game, like, oh, you run into it for a quest, it's just immune to, like, any effect whatsoever? I think I remember that being the case and being very annoyed by it. I, like, go in, I'm like, ha ha ha, everything is great. And then I remember, the game is mean. Dots target. I assume damage over time. Let's see. 
But Darkness Zone is a cool move. Ten percent chance of instantly killing target. I bet it doesn't work on like bosses, but we're gonna set it there anyway. Hmm. Let meteor fall. We'll put the holy light there. We do have anti-paralysis on you as well, but we haven't run into, like... It's, it feels like it's been forever since we've, like, ran into... ...moves. You also have revive. Neat. And a finding he final heal. Restores a lot of HP. So yeah, we'll give final heal to you. You can have shining laser too. Yeah, because it feels like status effects in this game happen rarely. Smack the Tank Man, who I distinctly remember <laughs> being a poor soul. Ah, uh, Paklamon, you could annihilate everyone if I wanted you to, but that's a waste of uh, SP. That's like almost a third of your SP. So let's hell crush some people. Ooh, 65 versus 95 targeted. Let's, let's go targeted. Shake those chains. Yeah, because a 50 SP normal attack thingy, that would have been extreme overkill for these guys. Damn you! How dare you paralyze the boy! Get critical smack twice in a row. I forgot I need to put my Digimon back in a row. Let's see. I think it's Omnimon Zort gets shifted. Granted, maybe we could bring in, since they're both the same, hmm. I guess Examon can take over, so we have a full gamut. We have a knight, a knight, and a dragon. The ultimate composition! Granted, last time it was a knight, a knight, and an angel. But I do find it amusing that the only thing so far in these late game, like, side quests... Like, literally, because that side quest only opens itself up once you get to this point in the story from a main character, nonetheless. It's just amusing that the only thing to really threaten me is a, f is a cheesy doodle insta-kill move. Blast him with your shield. Oh, and Dragon Impact is a 50 use as well. Meanwhile, that's 25. Wind Claw the man. I forget who has the the tactical. Doth do say I give it to the right person. Yep, tactician is still there. Alpha Mon is at the front, so things are still giving bonus experience. Huzzah! We beat up an, just a security system. But what is Death Barrier, I wonder? I take it the boy's rite of passage is over now. The final phase is at hand now. I hope there aren't any lingering regrets once it's done. First things first, we are going to activate that memory up. Not exactly sure, like, 
I said it's kind of amusing. Let's see. What is that one? Death barrier prevents instant death. Well, I hope I hope that's not like uh, <laughs> a warning. <laughs> Because that may very well be a warning. It's like, hey, death and destruction come thy way. Because that is a five. So they're basically the same. Rina Shumuya's challenge at the scenic spot. I want to match with you. I want to show you my passion. My morning soup keeps me strong. Well, let's go fight you, I guess. We get teleported. Nice. Or not. Ooh, a case of that girl from the parallel world. If that's not a sign you've come a long way as a detective, I don't know what is. So what did you two talk about? What does she want from you? She wants to fight. Huh. She wants to, you to go back to a memorable spot you two share. I don't really know what she could be referring to myself, but at the very least, when it comes to stuff like the parallel world, nobody's more of an expert than our one and only Mire. Go visit her and see if she has any advice for you on how best to approach this. Because the only, like, side quests that really kind of scare me are, like, the the, the the Deadly Sin ones. I think those are going to be crazy. They're going to be mad. You're working on a case for Rena. My, you two detectives have really extended your reach, I'd say. I take it you must uh, be here because you need to ask me about something then? Where is she? Where's the memorable spot? Obviously it's not memorable considering, considering I don't remember it. Um, you're trying to figure out where this memorable spot of hers is. Well, if it's some place that connects both of you, surely you should know where to go, no? Are you really sure you can't think of anything? Nothing rings a bell? There's Shibuya. Nakano? Shinjuku? I don't know! <laughs> well, so what sort of memories do you two have there? I don't know. None at all? Then you should think harder. Maybe Nakano? Could be Shinjuku. Apparently, Shinjuku's the way. That's right, Shinjuku is where you two first met. It was Shinjuku in the parallel world, but it was still Shinjuku nonetheless. But she can't have gone back to the parallel world. You would need the power of my Mastamon to facilitate such a journey. What about my Mastamon? I have one. Where else could she be then? So you couldn't figure it out. I knew that's how it could would turn out, though. Did you forget that I'm a fortune teller? Of course I'd know. That's my job. Why didn't I just tell you sooner? That's a fair point. I'll give you that. But the future is ever-changing, so I stayed quiet, just in case. I got a call. Hey, Neon, what's the big idea? What's so important that you gotta keep a girl waiting this long? I've been waiting for you this whole time. That didn't mean you had permission to take your sweet time. Don't tell me you're standing me up. You are, aren't you? I bet you weren't even gonna tell me, huh? You just said yes to shut me up, I bet. What other reason could you have to... Huh? You don't remember the spot I'm at? Aw, oh, that's so mean. How could you forget our special spot, Neon? It's Asuka. Or Asakusa, you hear me? Asakusa, what else would it be? What? That doesn't ring any bells? I can't believe you. It'd be the one thing if you just forgot why it was Asakusa, but not even knowing? I can't even. I can't even! Whatever, now you know. Get your butt over here to Asakusa so we can fight already, got it? You're a weird little being, aren't you? I predicted this would happen too. Hmm, what's with all that? What's that? What's with that expression? I'm merely telling the truth. Listen, to get results in life, there's a process one must go through, and that process is already set in stone. Indeed, history itself, the ebb and flow of each soul's lifespan, is all predetermined. Humans are merely walking along the path laid before them. Granted, sometimes you can take a more proactive role in these proceedings, and when faced with a critical juncture, go along one of several paths. The end result is that pr uh, multiple potential futures can exist. Go right and there's one future, go left another one. Where, there, where you are in right now is decided in those pivotal moments. Such choices even revise the past itself. The choices we make in life are profoundly powerful and mustn't be disregarded entirely as machinations of mere fate. As a result, nobody can truly be certain of what comes next until a choice has become 
definitively, my brain is melting, I read badly for some reason, until a choice has been definitively made one way or another. It's true for everyone, even I'm subject to those limitations, alas. <laughs> Enough philosophizing, though. Rena is waiting for you at Asakusa. Go forth and see what sort of fate awaits you in her making that choice. Well, let's go fight a friend. Are you real? Nope, it's just an another Digimon whom I never used. We'll save at the map exit point. And then we will head to Asakusa. Unless this is not the way to Asakusa, I am a mere fool. Shibuya Asakusa. This area is... How dare you. I'll just go invisible then. They'll never see me go invisible. The fools. I forgot that this is what Asakusa became. But I didn't forget the giant creepy hand fixture of these kinds of areas. <laughs> uh, <coughs> you finally made it, Neon. I'm so relieved. Wait, why did I ask you to come out here again? Oh, duh, of course. I wanted to have a bit of a spar with your Digimon. And why that? Huh? Why Asakusa? That question again. I told you it holds a lot of memories. I think of this area really fondly. What? What do you mean it's just me? You don't feel the same way? Well, for me, Asakusa is an important place I'll always remember because that's where I first had me some <laughs> dozu, or however you say that. Don't give me that look. Dozu. You know, a dojo. Not the martial arts place. Pond loaches. Loaches? Fish. I ate one in a hot spot. Asakusa's famous for it. Huh? That's not what confuses you? Oh, hush. You're worrying too much now. Water under the bridge. Let's just move on already. We have some fighting to do. Fight, fight, fight! Hey, I'm so pumped up. Let's do this! Jeez, what's with all the questions? Now you want to know why I want to fight you to begin with? How many times am I... Are you going to have to repeat it all? I just want to. I feel it. Down to my bones. I need to do this or else I'll keep feeling restless. Let's just shut up and fight now, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, go! Apparently, it's playing the scary music. Oh, he gets a double. That's not good at all. Why'd you use anti-poison? Cut through his defenses! Smash him down! And he uses anti-poison again. You're a weird man. Well, I guess we can go ahead and decrease your defense a bit before... Ah, oh, and you blocked it, you bastard. Knock him back! Dragon Impact! Whoa! Yeah, because if I remember... So, let's go ahead and, uh... Move Chaos Gallopmon out and move Apoclamon in! Ah, uh, great. Now he charged up his speed so he gets to go twice. Start charging. That's not good at all. I guess mirror reflection. Pendragon's glory. Blast him with a big old ball. Darkness Zone! And it killed my boy! Final Aura! Playing the scary music. Smack him with more pin dragon glory. Ball, 
How dare you spin around with that sword round round? Hmm. Since he gets to, he, since he gets to go twice, I won't subject a, a Digimon coming on in just yet. These two can probably handle it. Ah, oh, great! He's starting to charge in. Pendragon Glory again. Maybe it'll maybe he'll die. Get a crit. Damn it. I can't believe you killed a Pucklemon. He was just a boy. Quite literally. For a Pucklemon, he just stayed there on the floor. Oh, that's why. Oh, Jesus! I probably should have revived him. But poor Pucklemon forever underleveled now. Apoclamon, no. Man, you're strong. Wow. That was a really great fight. I have nothing left to pass on to you, my student. Now you're the master. Go, leave me. <coughs> What's going on with you? Why are you acting weird? You still want to know why I challenged you today? <laughs> Who cares? Don't think so deeply about it. It's boring to give a reason for everything, isn't it? I just wanted to test my strength against you and see who's stronger, that's all. That's what fights are all about, and what getting stronger is all about, too. Comparing yourself to others and seeing who's really better. Ooh, you really are one tough customer, Neon. Seeing that for myself is all the reward I need. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I'm gonna go now. Catch you later. And then you run back. I see that look on your face. You're wondering what the point of it all is. There is one, but I'm not telling. <laughs> you are a weird individual from an alternate universe. Ah, so she, she was after a fight with you to see which of you is stronger. Hmm, you know, deep down, I bet she's worried about how our own world is doing these days. And was looking for her own way to express that. Don't you mean she was worried about how her, her own world is doing? Since she's locked here in this world, at least for now? I think that would make more sense. Because, y'all, you just need to look outside to know how our world is doing. Badly. Maybe she wanted to test you to see if you were up to the job of helping keep this place in one piece. Then again, that works also better. I just... Again, you just need to look out. You see the world going crazy. You had to sneak by military guards to get into uh, the place anyway. Kind of shows that things are bad. I might be a little biased here, given the present company, but you kids have really turned out to be quite something. That being said, I agree with her thoughts on trying to find a reason for everything. I'm not too fond of dwelling on such stuff either. The world's just too full of things that can't be solved with pure reason to value it too highly, in my book. <laughs> now we gotta heal up the poor man. He died and didn't get any levels. Now we'll move him to the back for now. Poor Apoclemon. Let's see. Put our virus boy in the front. Give everybody some virus. If only we could all be as unabashedly encouraging as Rena. Let's be grateful she's on our side. Good work as always, Neon. And now I get another memory up. I do find it funny that just throwing memory ups at you at this point. It's like, fill out your, your team. And a new case was added. Great challenge one. You won against Rena. You're definitely getting stronger. Do you want to test your strength again? Digi Egg of Miracles and Digi Egg of Destiny. Huh. Hmm. I mean, hmm, but it would just be another fight against Rena, I assume. I guess we could go do it. I guess we can go do it. Let's go to the Digi Lab, I guess. Let's go do it, I suppose. Why not? 
It's something to do before we go on to the end of the world. I hear you beat Rena and Old Force Vitramon. It seems you're much stronger than before. I might have a few pointers for you. I have fought so many powerful Digimon now. I've tried to make a copy that goes beyond even their strength. How would you like to try and battle to test out your skills? <laughs> well, the choice is yours. But if you win, there could be an awesome prize in it for you. The first person you should talk to is in the Zaxxon form. If you're interested, by all means, make your way there. All right, interesting. <laughs> to the Zaxxon forums we go then, because we get digi eggs. I think I, I think I at least like saw that you needed a digi egg to evolve somebody. I accept the challenge. I will show you just how big a difference there is between us. Rapid Mon armor. Huh. Hmm. I guess I'll smack you. All right. Huh. I thought you'd be stronger than that. Once again, I thought you'd be stronger than that. Uh, let's just... Uh, get you out of here. Goodbye. What happened? Oh, because defense penetration. That's why it did so much damage. But dead. Okay. I understand now. Okay, you know what? Uh, Chaos Gallantmon, bring in Apoclamon. He's gonna 444 all over these bitches. If he can even get a move. Uh, I guess let's we'll smack you. I guess it's because these guys are all about armor and defense penetration annihilates them. That is hilarious to me. But speed field us, I guess. Please don't nuke Apoclamon. Thank you. And uh, now get darkness zoned. Defense penetration! That is the way of the world. Defense penetration. Because I, I smacked him with the move, and I'm just like, huh, he's not going to be that hard. He took a lot of damage. My very next move did 11. Because they were armored. <laughs> I did not expect that. We beat him. We beat him up. We won the day. What's on the digi line? It's another fool I don't care about. You're, you, you are canned lines. <laughs> Let's just hold it. I, I just had the perfect opening to lull myself into a false sense of security. And now I have digi eggs that I don't know what to do with. That was some pretty stiff opposition you were up against. Not really, because I had the right Digimon to smack them down with. Rest well now. You've earned it. Leopardmon LM medal. You easily defeated Magnamon. The next won't be so easy. Well, I guess it's power leveling. So first things first, let's uh, organize again. Uh, bring in Gallantmon. So that our team can be balanced again. And I guess sure. Let's 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 keep doing the challenges. They're good for leveling. They're good for leveling up our underleveled Digimon. Take us to the Digi Lab. Looks like you beat Magnamon. Right then. Next up, go to Tokyo Metropolitan Office. You definitely won't be disappointed. At the top. I forget, is there a way to just go to the top, or do I have to climb it again? I think there's an elevator that takes you to the, like, the last bits, I think. It's been five billion years. To the uh, Metropolitan Office. Oh, nope, just down here. Leopardmon, I'm a master of strategy. 
Have a taste of this! Don't be too strategic. You'll probably kick my ass. Agility up. That's not good. Well, ah, uh, great. Well, let's try and see how much damage it does anyway. Not good. Smack him down! Black Aura Blast. Not to his crotch. What does Knockback even do? Pendragon's Glory! Attack, attack, attack. Oh, that's not good at all. And he gets to go twice. Hmm. Let's smack him. Smack him hard. Oh, I love it. It plays all the cool animations. Well, let's try it. Maybe it'll cause confusion. Nope, it blocks it, because game's a cheat. Hmm, he goes twice, so... I don't want to throw a Poclamon into it. Oh, well, the poor boy's gonna die. Especially because he's using that. Let's see. Yep, so... Xmon, we shall throw in, I guess, Rosemon, and then Alphamon can throw in Apoclamon. And we can hope that good things happen. Master of Strategies, just a jerk! I do find it a bit hypocritical of the game to be like, ah, yes. Plant damage. Let's just see the very things. We'll use this then. I do find it hypocritical of the game to go be like, oh, the boss man, they don't take, like, super damage. But you, you take all the damage. Let's see. Let's see how much damage this does. Is it more than 444? How dare you! You're a very mean monster. Just keep smacking you with our hardest hitting moves. And healing for some reason. Well, I guess let's smack you with our hard hitting move. Let's see it, because it's been a bit. Get hit by hearts. I just want to see how much Nightmare 3 will do to you. Have some nightmares! 50... Okay. Keep smacking him with hard-hitting moves. We have no strategy in this house. Just pain. Quit hitting the plant lady and extinction wave. Apoclamon says, ow. Enter into the darkness zone. Keep smacking him, smacking him hard! And because it heals you for 50% of the damage, do this again! It damages and heals! And he's almost dead and he's gonna be a pain in the ass about it, isn't he? Well, he raised his health. Dark. Woken Napalm, I guess. Why do you have life drain? Why do you have so many moves? I'm gonna quickly revive... Well, let's see. Who is dead? Because I don't think they actually... Nope, Examon, you require experience, so get back in here. Darkness Zone! Pizza Crust! And uh, Gallopmon has nothing... 
So I guess we'll just, uh, give it to him if it gets back to him, so he can do a lot of damage. Why do you heal? You are a monster. Blast him again. I wonder what that does. Well, let's smack into it anyway. Quit sucking the life from a Bucklamon. He only has so much of it. Darkness Zone. And we'll do this again because it does lots of damage. Just damage, 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 damage. Will you please die? You have no health. And it highly amuses me. He's just standing there with a, a, a little bit of health. I'm just like, please die. Please die. Please die. How dare he have the, the player ability of healing. The cursed art. Only the player character should have such power. It's just too broken. Of course, organize the team back to uh, the Alphamon. There we go. Typing across the board. Copy or not, that was truly a fateful opponent to have. Rest easy. You've worked hard enough for one day. Not really. And of course, more battle. Challenge three. <laughs> Just don't get cocky. First things first, I'm going to go and see if I can sell, like, all of my medals. Where's the Metal Cell Man? It's been a while. Where are you, Metal Cell Man? Are you on the second floor, the third floor, the top floor? Or is the third floor the top floor in this universe? Who the fuck? That's all right with you, Jimmykin. Demonic businessman. A paradox of one we get angel and demon's heart fall into this weakened world of lies and song. So you want to know about Jimmykin, huh? Not yet! <laughs> Jimmykin is awesome! <laughs> I didn't even expect anybody to be here. Am I ever going to get to that next case? What next case? What are you even talking about, game? There seems to be loads of people waiting for Jimmykin's return. No, really, I mean it. It's the truth, lol! Is that what Jimmykin, like, actually looks like and he's just gone insane? Because Jimmykin was that asshole, like, rocker punk guy, right? Who just plagued us eternally. Are you the... who? I, I forget. Gluttonous nerd boy. I just want to find uh, the metal man. The man who uh, I can sell metals to. Where art thou, metal man? It has been five billion years. Yes, I know. Metal man. I have lots of metals. I uh, sell them. Apparently a lot of money. But yeah, what was that one guy? He's just standing there. Has the exclamation point above his head. Rambling about Jimmykin like a madman. What the hell? What weirdness. And the case was added! Comeback show! A businessman in Nakano, Shibuya. Do you remember me? What? You don't remember me? LOL! My comeback show is going to start! So we're gonna fight Jimmikin again. Or like, the guy, the rocker man, the madman. Well, I, 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 I guess. We can do this and then, like, get a move on. Try this Terrier Mons exclusive scoop because this is interesting but kind of boring. Say me. Uh, then maybe we'll try one of the parallel world sins. 
Oh, yeah! How's everyone doing tonight? That's right, it's the one, the only, Jimmy Kim! Huh? Hey, your part is done already. You should be gone, baby. What do you... What do you mean, one-hit wonder? Ah! How dare you defy the Lord of Rock! That's just cruel, baby! Huh. Okay, well, maybe you didn't say it. But you were totally thinking it. I knew it. I hope you remember that when you're facing me again. I've got a little surprise in the store, Cyber Sloop. <laughs> you're officially invited to Jimmy Ken's Mighty Comeback Tour. Yeah! Isn't that awesome? Aren't you so freaking psyched? Oh, and guess who's Jimmy Ken's special guest? I present to you Ms. Raiko Tawa. Huh? What do you mean, who's that? That ain't funny, kid! Raiko Tawa! You know, Raiko Tawa, uh, the seedy sales girl! Whatever, if you want her back, you'd best make an appearance. Come to Shibuya Records. We're gonna light it up and kick off the show! You... you don't want to go? But you have to go! I submitted a case! You accepted it! <laughs> I got you trapped now! A real sleuth would never abandon a case! <laughs> This world is insane. I'm actually kind of... Why do we suddenly talk now? How many times do we actually talk in this game that isn't like a selection box? I'm actually kind of worried about Raiko. Maybe I should go to Shibuya Records just in case. I swear, some... <laughs> I forgot that you existed! And he has words! Japanese, but still. Hey there! I just, I was just coming to look for you. I can't find my darling soulmate anywhere. I went all around, but Rako's nowhere to be found. You're going to save her? From who? From what? What's going on? Madman. That washed up, talentless, idiotic, one-hit wonder kidnapped my sweet Rako. That tone-deaf freak better not harm a hair on her head. Just thinking about it gets me mad. He's probably got a Got her locked up, doing terrible things to her, like making her listen to his new album! He will not get away with this bad poser! That insult to rock and roll! What well, he screamed. <laughs> My very heart ignites with fury! Raikou! I must become something more! I must awaken the metal that slumbers deep inside! Soaring guitars, thundering drums, the purest form of rock! He even said heavy metal. Why do you look so chunky now? I'm become Metal Edamon! I'm coming for you, Racco! Yeah! All because I talked to a random guy in the... In, 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 in. I talked to a random guy, and this ha all happens. This is a tough situation. Before we go in, we need to gather some more info. I guess we should talk to people, okay. Demonic Clay Doll Hacker. Yeah, without Jimmy, the music scene's just boring. And then we fight him. Okay. Sure. Uh, th this this entire quest already is having me feeling whack. Not as whack as that though. He's dead. He did. And then I'll just attack you normally. We're not even gonna borrow, bother to swap out. I doubt you can do anything. Ah, you can erase your defense. Good for you. He's smack him. Good for you, Metal Edamon. Oh no, he's gonna attack now. You punched Ixamon in the dick. How dare he? Honestly, we could probably just smack this guy to death. We don't need to use SP anymore. No, I was defeated by this scumbag? I can't accept this, it's not happening! Why is everyone... 
<laughs> what's what's going on over here? Demon possessed student. Huh? Is this some kind of surprise event? Are there any celebs coming? Oh, gee, I want to see. But yeah, what is going on over there? I want to know. What, Jimmy? Jimmy King is so lame nowadays. Those real simple rhymes, that old timey melody, are really catchy though. Demonic waxwork hacker. Yeah, it's good. It's got that Jimmy style beat. It stirs up something inside you. That's what real music should do. Why do you all say that and then immediately go to fight? Hey, it's these guys. Or at least I guess I suppose a, a reference to these guys. Guess we'll punch you. Get smacked. And we'll blast away the pumpkin man. Goodbye. How dare you not die? You're supposed to be dead. Pumpkin man, go away. <laughs> Get crit. Oh no, not the whirlwind arms. And all of Jimmikin's, like, fan minions are, like, not that powerful. Then again, I just got done beating multiple iterations of supposedly super powerful clone Pokemon. Uh, clone Pokemon, yes. <laughs> she she uh, took them from the other worlds and made them into Digimon. Obviously, we, we beat a god. Why do we even need to, like, get info? Who the hell are you? My, the sleuthing that we're doing. Take down the big guy. He's ugly. Big guy is ugly dead. He no longer exists. He's gone. How dare you survive? You're, a, you're an insult to life itself. You dumb frog. Leave the dragon alone. Get poked in the face. And <laughs> you almost died. <laughs> nice pose. Leave the dragon alone. And now we'll just beat up the frog. Beat up the frog. Beat up the frog. Were we, like, supposed to find Jimmikin earlier? And this is just, like, why everyone's so easy to destroy? Or am I just overleveled? We might just be overleveled. But hey, at least all my other Digimon will be at least decent-ish level. I know all about Jimmikin already. Let's go. <laughs> I, I thought that was the hacker talking. I know all about Jimmy Kin already. Let's go help Racco at Shibuya Records. You're the one that demanded that we go beat up the people. It was you. You are the one that chose this path. Why do you blame me? It's not even like they had anything to say. They were like, music, yeah. Or in that one guy's case, who the hell are you? I heard somewhere that Jimmykin from the Demons is going to do a surprise concert. What kind of band are the Demons? Where are all of the military people? Where did they go? There was like their whole shtick. <laughs> How'd you even get up there? <laughs> too late! I'm saying you're just too late! Yeah! Look who showed up! Had to keep me waiting. I rock the truth, baby! Music is live! Welcome to the Holy Land! That's right! This temple of rock and roll soul! The heavenly tower of Shibuya Records! You're through here, one-hit wonder! Now get off the stage! Let Reiko free right now! Oh yeah, hey, hey, hey! Monkeys don't bother me, I'll set Ms. Raiko free! Now back the heck off and don't intervene. This is between us, don't make a scene. I need to hear it from her. You're a relic, Jimmy Ken. Why is it consistently being said that way? That is not what his name has been this entire game. Why is it suddenly 
Jimmy Ken capitalized. Why? Just a watched up rocker who lost the music long ago. <laughs> what he screamed. Metal Monkey, I ain't even begun to rock. Metal Monkey, I can't turn back the clock. We gonna turn this place up. This is Jimmy Kin's comeback performance and your farewell tour. Did he ha What's going on now? What he said? Is she a fan? Hi, everyone. You ready to rock tonight? <laughs> awesome! I think you all know this one! Ooh! <laughs> She's actually singing the song! I I find it hilarious that there's this sometimes random voice acting. What? What the? <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, huh? <laughs> It, it, it could just be that maybe she's just like, oh, hey, a concert at Shibuya Records? Awesome. Maybe it's not that big a deal. Huh? This is a weird case. And now we fight. Okay. How dare you roll down my stuff? Ah, crap. There. They're gonna be powerful. I guess I should swap out. So they are anti their data. So I need the bring a Poclamon in because he can do a lot of damage to everybody at once. We'll focus down the big guy. Maybe we should focus on the little guys. Then again, they're, well, they're focusing on Edamon, so... If they focus on Edamon, it shouldn't be that scary. Pendragon's glory to the face! Oh yeah, smack them all. Don't you dare confuse... Why does it only affect me? And now Darkness Zone. Smack them all! Leave Apoclamon alone. He wants pizza. That's all he wants in life. Well, maybe we need to... Let's see. Panic recovery. Stop being panicked. Again, annoy. That's the one thing that I I think is very badly designed. Genuinely, is the fact that there are stasis attacks in this game, that the game just says, "Yeah, you can't use stasis attack," or like not st status moves. You can't use status stuff. Not on the bosses because it's important. Well, I guess while you're countering, I can attack your minions instead. Don't do it again. Okay, good. Like, I understand why they wouldn't want, like, you to have the ability to do these super cool moves against, like, everything. But if you don't want the things to be used against... You, like your creations maybe don't make it so powerful that the players can like do it if you don't want your bosses to be insta death don't have insta death in your game or have it be a very specific like attack like I think that would be like more interesting in a way if insta death was like a gimmick of a specific enemy or boss. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Banana slip! While his defense is down, smack him! 
And you wasted it. Tomahawk Stinger. Did a lot of damage, but... <laughs> and another Can You Feel It. Interesting. Let's do as much damage to that man in there so that we can confirm this kill. And, of course, pizza crusts for everyone! Huzzah! Let's see. We can get rid of Gale Storm because it's a level 1 move. I wonder why there's even, like, a, mo a move limit. It's not like you can access them all. <laughs> You're not bad! Jimmy, are you okay? Raiko, what's going on? Edamon, is that you? Oh, and look, Neon's here too. Hi! No, my poor precious Raiko. Has your bright heart been so poisoned by this talentless hack? What do you mean? You didn't come here to see my, me perform? It's my big debut concert. What do you mean? He said he was holding you hostage. Wait, what? You think he kidnapped me? Jimmy? As some kind of human sacrifice? <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Then why did he try to fight us? What is going on? There's no way. I was invited to perform. Tanaka came to the store and... Hey, whoa, hey, that does not rock. Oops, I mean Jimmy, not Tanaka. Jimmy. Anyways, Jimmy came to the store and told me his dream of making music the whole world could love. He said he could sense my innate talent, so he invited me to come up on and sing. I mean, performing like this in front of a packed house, that's always been a dream. How could I pass up this chance? Raiko, you are fearless. Well, at least I don't have to listen to his terrible songs anymore. Hey, what? My music rocks! You really think so? Are you deaf? This music doesn't rock. It besmirches the name of rock. It's just a poor mockery of rock. You could never understand rock's true might. <laughs> what is going on? Hey, take a step back. Stop fighting right now. Both of you have forgotten what music can really do. You're both talented, you're both unique. Why does it have to be a competition? No, 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 no! This ape thinks he's better than me! Jimmy Kin! That does not rock! I've had about enough of you! Come here, you perrin and star face punk! The blistering power of my meta will meddle your face! Oh yeah, monkey boy! Bring it on! I'll solo the heavy ride out of your metal! Uh, okay, not exactly what I had in mind, but at least they're talking. Music is capable of a lot of things, but most important, it can bring people together. <laughs> Digimon too. Hey, wait up! I want to be want a part of this rock off. The show's only just beginning. I hope you're ready to mosh tonight, Neon. What even? See those two standing over there? That's Shogun Gekumon and Gekumon. They left our band because of musical differences. I'm actually surprised to see them here. Seeing their faces is actually a relief. I'm gonna stop worrying so much musicality. From now on, I'm just gonna sing. I'm gonna sing my ass off. Tokyo is great. Shibuya is an awesome place to rock out. I love that turn of the century style, lol. Hells yeah, rock and roll, baby. But he was a villain. Why Why did he make a, a, a request and make it seem like he kidnapped Raiko? And why did Edamon run to us? Uh, the, the, the. Sorry for worrying you, Neon. My apologies. But it seems that Edamon met up with an old friend and everything turned out fine. So now for the live performance. Have fun. Edamon, looking good. I used to be in a band with this guy. At the time, Edamon didn't know what kind of music to play. But it looks like he solved that one now. Now there's the time to start making music again. Let's get the Edamon band back together again. That's a concert that looks good. So I'm going with Shogun Geckomon. I can't believe we ran into our old band member Edamon here, though. We managed to meet up again. So why can't we get our, over our different musical tastes and work together like we used to? Jimmykin is a, such a nutcase. It's not even that. It's just the fact that he made it seem like he was going to do something evil when he was just putting on, like, a return, but he was a villain earlier on and, like, brainwashing people and just being a fiend. And now he's like... I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know! I was definitely a client for the ages. Yesterday's enemy is today's client. 
The wheel of fate is always turning in a detective work. That's just so weird. I thought that he would actually do something evil because he was such a weird, evil man before. Well, maybe not super evil, but like, you know, evil enough. But no, it's just... He, he weirdly invited us in a weird, evil way. He is a weird, weird man. My brain is just melting. Well, uh, because I'm kind of tired of the challenges, let's instead go Terriermon's exclusive scoop at the Kurame. Ah, just right here. I want Digimon to be, be better friends of humans. That's why I need a secret human scoop. Master Disc and Master Guard. Better items. Ah, you must be the detective in charge. When the interdimensional wall broke down, I was sent from the digital world to this one. Right now, there are Digimon in this world that are afraid, don't know where they are, and think humans as their enemies. I'd rather not see humans as my enemy. I'd still like to think there's a way that humans and Digimon can coexist peacefully. But I didn't know what to do, so that's when I heard about you guys and how you solved many problems for Digimon. So I would like to examine you in detail. Please show me all the good that humanity has to offer. Okay. Really? Hooray! Thank you so much! Neon, sorry to interrupt, but... I know it's sudden, but there's another case I'd like you to take. It seems someone has run out on a bill at a restaurant in Shibuya. The restaurant staff is asking for help in tracking down the perpetrator. It's been a while since we've had a case fit for a detective. Please handle this one as well. Alright, let's get detectiving, I guess. Ah, you're the detective, aren't you? Please, right this way. I sent the request. I work in the cafe. Please, I need your help tracking down and arresting this criminal who ran out without paying. Why wouldn't you call the police? <laughs> Earlier today, at around 2 p.m., a diner took up and left without paying for their meal. I was here in the cafe with my husband, as usual. I was dealing with customers, and my husband was cooking. Then I think it was about five minutes to two. I went out the back door to go phone my friend and left my husband in charge of the cafe. While I was on the phone, I heard a voice cry from inside the cafe, It's a dine and dash! So I immediately hung up and went back into the cafe. But when I got inside, my husband wasn't there. He had run out of the cafe after the criminal. I, before I went out for the phone call, there had been more than 20 customers in the cafe, but... When I heard the shout and came back, four of the customers had gone. As I thought my husband had gone after the criminal, I entrusted the cafe to a regular I knew and went out looking for the missing customers. Wow, you were able to find the four missing customers in such a short amount of time? Honestly, I just got lucky. The dine and dash occurred five minutes after I went out the back to make the phone call. Their customers must have left during that time. I'm good with faces. It's a sort of talent of mine. They even admit that they were all in the cafe. So I talked to each of them and listened to their stories, but I can't work out who it was. I'm sure one of them must be the criminal, but... Please, go ask each of them about this and catch the criminal. Surely the only one who's lying would be the criminal. The, o the other three have no reason to lie. Please investigate the crime. What is going to be the twist here? What is going to be the twist? What even is this? <laughs> I... These requests have gotten weird. The dining dash happened at 2 p.m. exactly right. At that time, I had almost finished and got up to go to the restroom. I turned and heard, it's a dining dash, and there was commotion in the cafe. It had nothing to do with me, so I put my money down and left. Yeah, the shouting voice is definitely the waiter. The waiter. Do you mean the husband? N Nishio is not the criminal. She's a, a beautiful woman. I fell in love with her as soon as I saw, first saw her, and, and I spent my entire lunch eating cheap spicy curry and staring at her. But after someone shouted, it's a dine and dash, Nishio left the cafe. The criminal obviously ran out of the cafe before the shout. I was the one who yelled, it's a dine and dash. The cafe owner man who heard me went running after the criminal. I was curious about the dine and dasher, so after that I went straight up to the counter, placed the money there, and then left. I could only see the criminal from behind. It was a woman. I tried to run after her too, but I lost sight of both the waiter and the criminal. There was another person named uh, Yotsuya who left about the same time as I did. No one behind the till, so I d 
didn't know where to leave my money, but she left it by the register, so I did too. Then I followed her out of the cafe. I also heard someone shout about Dine and Dash, but I don't know who. It sounded like a man's voice. One man shouting once. Hmm. Uh, well, now I'm a bit confused. It's hard for me to follow. But whenever you don't understand someone, you just need to hear it several times to make a note of it, I guess. We need to find the two people whose stories don't match. Yeah, because this guy claims that he shouted. Let's see. Happened at 2. Almost finished. It's a Dine and Dash and was commotion. It had nothing to do with me, so I put my money down and left. Was definitely the waiter. And who is this? Just another... Nobody cares, Starmon. Nishio is not the criminal. I fell in love with her. Entire lunch money. After she shouted... But after someone shouted, it's a Dine and Dash, she left. The criminal, obviously, before the shout. So she says, let's see, Yotsuya. Let's see it again. I returned, it's a Dine and it had nothing to do with me, so I put my money down and left. She put her money down after the shout, claiming it's the waiter. Nishio is not the criminal. Let's see. But after someone shouted, it's a dine and dash, Nishio left. The criminal obviously ran out of the cafe before the shout. So you put your money down after the shout. Nishio left after the shout. I was the one who yelled out, it's a dine and dash. The cafe owner man who heard me went running after the criminal. I was curious about the dine and dasher. So after that, I went straight up to the counter, placed the money there, and then left. I could only see the criminal from behind. It was a woman. I tried to run after her, but I lost sight of both the waiter and the criminal. She says it's the waiter. He says it's him. She put her money down after the shout. He put his money down. Let's see again. I was the one who yelled out, it's a Dine and Dash. What's one's Nishio? I think the lady uh, in the... Uh, up there, the last one. Because Yotsuya is the one that said that she heard the shout from the waiter and put her money down and left. Sanpai is the guy with the glasses who ate the cheap curry. He said that Nishio put her money down and left, or like left after the shout. Or like, yeah, well, we'll, we'll read it again. Cafe owner man heard him and went running. So, after shouting it's a Dine and Dasher, he put his money down on the counter and then followed. Yeah. Yotsuya said, it's a someone said it's a Dine and Dash. So she put her money down and left. The shouting voice was definitely the waiter. Then Nishio is up here. Another person named Yotsuya who left about the same time as I did. No one behind the till, so I didn't know where to leave my money. But she left it by the register, so I did too. Then I followed her out of the cafe. I also heard someone shout about Dine and Dash, but I don't know who. It sounded like a man's voice. One man shouting once. Hmm. So yeah. one. She says it's a Dine and Dash. She put her money down and left. He says... That somebody shouted about a dine and dash. Let's see it again. Found love for her. Nah. Someone shouted, it's a dine and dash. Nishio left. The criminal obviously ran out of the cafe before the shout. He's the only one that's kind of co corroborating her story. Okay, so she says, somebody yelled dine and dash. So oh, she put her money down and left. The shout was definitely the waiter. He says that somebody shouted Dine and Dash. Nishio left. The criminal ran before the shout. He was the one who says it's a Dine and Dash. The cafe owner who heard him went running after the criminal. I was curious about the Dine and Dasher, so after that I went straight up to the counter, 
placed the money there and then left. I could only see the criminal from behind. It was a woman. I tried to run after her too, but I lost sight of both the waiter and the criminal. Meanwhile, she says, Yatsuya left about the same time as she did. No one behind the till, so I didn't know where to leave my money. But she left it by the register, so I did too. Then I followed her out of the cafe. I also heard someone shout about Dine and Dash, but I don't know who. It sounded like a man's voice, one man shouting once. This guy kind of stands out because she says the waiter yelled Dine and Dash. He says that Nishio left her uh, left after the shout and claims that the criminal had to have run before the shout. Nishio mentions that Yatsuya put money by the till and so she followed suit and did that, following Yotsuya out of the restaurant about at the same time. This guy claims that it's a woman who left. That was the Dine and Dasher. Hmm. Because if she did it first, she says it's the waiter. He says that it's him. She says one man shouting once. I don't. I think this guy's kind of irrelevant. He's just there to back up that Nishio left after the shout. And Nishio claims that she left about the same time as Yatsuya. Who heard the shout and put her money down. That leaves this guy. This guy's completely unaccounted for. No, don't do that. I want to save. I keep... I'm so used to that being the normal button. Hmm. And I hit the wrong button again. Brain is melting. I was the one who yelled out, it's a dine and dash. The cafe owner man, who heard me, went running after the criminal. I was curious about the dine and dasher, so after that I went straight to the counter, placed the money there, and then left. I could only see the criminal from behind, it was a woman. I tried to run after her too, but I lost sight of both the waiter and the criminal. So, he claims... It's hard to see from behind all my big Digimon. But yeah. So she claims that she came out of the restroom, heard someone yell Dine and Dash. She figured it wasn't her problem. So she put her money down and left. She claims that the waiter is the one who yelled. He claims that somebody yelled Dine and Dash. Then Nishio put her... Uh, let's read it again. She was not the criminal. But after someone shouted Dine and Dash, she left. The criminal obviously ran out before the shout. And Nishio, another person named Yatsuya, left about the same time. No one behind the till, so I didn't know where to leave my money. She left it by the register. I did too, then followed her out. I also heard someone shout about Dine and Dash, but I don't know who. It sounded like a man's voice, one man shouting once. Hmm. So that leaves two possible things, because, hmm. But Nishio says that Yatsuya left her money by the till. Her, like, series of events is a little odd, because she, it almost implies that she left before the shout. Let's read again. Another person who left about the same time as I did. Left by the register, so I did too, then followed her out of the cafe. I also heard someone shout out the Dine and Dash. She claims that it was a waiter. She claims that Yatsuya left money by the till. So Yatsuya cannot be the Dine and Dasher. They corroborate each other's story. Yatsuya put money down and left. Nishio 
saw her put money down, put money down herself, and left. This guy says that Nishio left after the shout and the criminal had to leave before, which leaves this guy who claims to be the one who shouted. Hmm. Hmm, I'm just trying to make sure everything lines up in my head. Because it does feel like the other three corroborate. Hmm. So I'm just trying to think, because he is kind of an island in his... Like, thing. Nobody else has mentioned this guy. Plus, he, like, claims that he's the one who yelled Dine and Dash. Hmm. So let's set it up. Hmm. And what's your name again? Because nobody's like mentioned your name. Ichihara. I'm just trying to think because he's the one that seems the most out of it because she is corroborated by her because she's mentioned. She says she put money down. She says she put money down and followed suit. So, hmm. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, because they all match up together, I think. I just, I'm trying to make sure everything's right in my head. But it feels like, because, yeah, this guy is kind of an island. But if his, if he's lying and is actually the Dinan Dasher, then he would also be wrong because he said that he saw a woman do it. Hmm. I'm going to say it's Ichihara, because... She, these two corroborate each other, and he's there to corroborate her. While this guy doesn't mention him, and doesn't mention anybody else by name, just saying that it's a woman. But the two women corroborate each other. She put her money down and left, saying that the waiter yelled. And if she corroborates Yatsuya, it means that the waiter is the one who yelled. Because, yeah... Since Nishio corroborates Yatsuya, the waiter had to have been the one to yell Dine and Dash. He also doesn't mention about anybody else paying at the till. Well, meanwhile, Nishio does, implying that Yatsuya was the first one to put her money down because nobody was manning the station. So she followed suit and left about the same time, which means that nobody else left around the same time. And he probably would have mentioned if these two were ahead of him putting money down. So I'm going to say that it's Ichihara. How's it going? Do you know who the criminal is? Yes, I do. Really? Please tell me who it is. The criminal is who? It is Ichihara. Huh? Why me? I knew it. That's who I thought it was too, Neon. What? I never did such a thing. If you think I'm the criminal, let's hear your explanation. Let's see. Out of the four customers, two of their stories most definitely didn't match. Is that right, Neon? And was the man who shouted the waiter or Ichihara? Yes, well done. Just what I expect from you. Among the four people, there's a conflicting testimony who actually shouted it's a dine and dash. Was it the waiter or Ichihara? In that case, you would know your husband's voice well as you hear him all the time, right? I'm sorry, I just heard a loud cry out suddenly. I can't remember if it was my husband's or not. Oh, I see. In any case, it's strange that Ichihara said he was the one who shouted, whereas Yatsuya claimed it was the waiter. So that must mean one of them is lying, which means one of them probably the criminal, right? Wait, but then why are you accusing me and not the Yatsuya woman? Well, um, do you know? Nishio and, uh, Nishio... 
Uh, well, obviously it's not going to matter, but I still want to do it. Nishio and Sampai's testimony must be correct. I, that's not my theory at all. My theory is that Nishio backs up Yatsuya. Uh, don't let me stop you. But yeah, why are we bringing Sanpai into this? <laughs> Nishio and Sanpai is, must be correct. That's right, hey, you're really amazing. We should uh, trust Nishio and Sanpai's testimony, right? Yes, according to Nishio, there was only one shout. So it can't have been both Ichihara and the waiter. According to Sanpai, Nishio left the cafe right after the Dine and Dash happened. And Nishio and Yatsuya left at the, almost the same time. So essentially, there's no one who can back up Ichihara's story. Yatsuya's alibi is backed up by Nishio and Sanpai, and they're not the criminal, so we can't be so we can believe them. That means Yatsuya can't be the criminal. The criminal said the opposite of what Yatsuya said. Yatsuya told us the waiter shouted, but the one who said he himself shouted out was the criminal is Ichihara. I don't don't talk such nonsense. I was definitely the one who shouted out. I called out to the other customers in the shop to warn them about what this stupid jerk was doing. I already told you I ran after the criminal. Why are you blaming me? You should be thanking me. <sighs> oh dear. I'm sorry I couldn't catch the criminal. The criminal is here. Is this the guy? You. You're the one who dined and dashed? Um. Oh, Mr. Policeman. That's just his name, Mr. Policeman. This guy here is the one who ran out on the check. This young boy ran out on the check in your restaurant? Right then, he's coming down to the station with me. Case closed! Wow, Neon, you really are as good as they say! Right back to the office. I'm sure Kyoko will want to congratulate you on a job well done! See, this is what I wish... You're there. Hold it for a sec. You're the one who tracked this criminal down? Wow, that's amazing. Quite the feat indeed. Thank you for your help in catching this Dine and Dasher. Or whatever. I'm done with this. <laughs> huh? <laughs> You're such a bunch of chumps. Huh? What's this? Great job working that out. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Don't you get it yet? How about now? I'm not a real cop. And then he became a fake cop. The worst kind of cop. <laughs> oh, you should see your faces. We are members We are members of the much-talked-about Shibuya Delight Gang. Members of Delight love the thrill of getting away of crimes again and again, and we're impossible to catch. But that's... you mean you actually enjoy running out on checks at restaurants, doing bad stuff and deceiving everyone? Tip of the iceberg, idiot. Do you really think that'd be enough to satisfy us? You've embarrassed us and you're gonna pay for that. We will have our revenge. First, I'm gonna spread a rumor that, around that you couldn't catch the guy who did the dine and dash. Best detective around? I don't think so. But such a roundabout kind of revenge won't be enough for us. Catch me if you can. If you can't, we're gonna keep doing bad stuff. Eh? They got away. Where do you think those guys are going? I heard something. A gang of thugs who always cause trouble around this neighborhood hang out at the Shibuya subway station. But don't even think about going after them. It's too dangerous. Those guys are criminals, so we should leave this to the police. Here's your fee. Please don't be shy. You did a great job tracking down the criminal. I just... I'm a little worried about what that guy said before about revenge. I know what the, what it is. Revenge is when someone does something bad to you. So you do something bad uh, back to them in return, right? Why would he say such a thing, though? It wasn't our fault he got arrested. It was his own fault for doing all those bad things. He didn't even get arrested. Nothing good ever comes from getting back at someone. Anyway, sorry. Should we go after those guys? Okay, let's do it. We're off to the Shibuya subway station. This is kind of what I wish, like, the most of this game was. A little partner Digimon that talked with us. That's the one, my one gripe. That you didn't have a true partner Digimon in this game. You just had a starter Digimon. Those guys are trying to use Digimon for evil purposes. They're probably abusing them all the time. We never use humans for anything. I never want to have that kind of relationship with a human. Huh. <laughs> Pet Terrymon on the head. Thanks, Neon. <laughs> I've calmed down a bit now. Let's go beat up the evil people. I wonder if those guys are in here. Let's go! At least I got the the right one in the end. Fear my great power. My deductive reasoning. 
My deductive reasoning is so reasoned that you can't out-reason my reasoning. I do kind of like that the it was out of left field in a way, but I kind of appreciate that they threw in a different kind of interesting, like, quest. Hmm. It feels like this would be the dead end more than the other one. Nope, this is a different way. Hmm. Goes in deeper. Hmm. Two wizard mon and a monster. We must get him. Get him now. He's ugly. While you're tracking down criminals, remember to stay hydrated. And let's just Wulken Napalm you. You're a random encounter. You shouldn't take much damage. Die! Get critical. Why do you have so many skills, Examon? Since you have a uh, level 3 Gale Storm, let's go ahead and do that. Level ups for everyone. But yeah, despite the fact that it was a little weird in a way, I do appreciate that they threw out a different kind of, like, idea there. Still no Edgeworth Redeem. I keep forgetting to do that. It'll happen one of these days, I swear. I'll just need to remember how to do my Edgeworth voice. <laughs> my first alcoholic drink was vodka, and it tasted like crap. Really should have gotten the screwdriver. I've never had much, like, alcoholic drinks. Mostly wine. Once again, while you're wondering around which way the optional way is, Instead of, like, which way progresses the, the quest, remember to stay hydrated. It also reminds me of my playthrough of God of War 1. Because I made the mistake of being like, I'm gonna go the optional way. And then I completely missed, like, the way you were supposed to go. Because you were supposed to go and, like, eliminate a bunch of... Like, uh, what are they called? Bubba. -bu. Like, uh, archer dudes that were gonna shoot at you while you crossed a path. But because I was stupid and went one way, because I'm like, aha, game, I see you're trying to railroad me this way, I will go the other way. So I accidentally went the way that I was supposed to go later and tried to, like, uh, I'm trying to shimmy across a rope. To the other side of a cavern but the archer dudes were still alive because i was dumb and forgot the other way existed and i thought the game was just very difficult at that moment i still made it across somehow but that's more like in spite of the game more than anything in spite of my incompetence i somehow got through that it wasn't until later that I realized, oh, the reason I was instant dying falling while I was trying to go the way the game wanted me to go was because I missed the path I was supposed to go before to make the main way safe. And that is why I'm constantly in fear of going both the wrong way and the right way at the same time. Also, Jesus, there is just a bunch of enemies in here. <laughs> For some reason, the attack rate just skyrocketed. I know I have the ability to lower the encounter rate just a little bit, I think. There's like an attack, like an encounter rate defense thing that I could do. But these give just little bits of experience for the boys. For Apoclamon, Examon. Imperial German Prime Minister. Also, why would a group comprised of, like, Dine and Dashers hide out in a goddamn subway? 
did we just suddenly end up at the beginning now? Where are they? How did we enter? One way. And then the game goes, surprise. You went the wrong way. I'll just nightmare, well, not nightmare. Destruction cannon you, get you out of here. And then we'll punch these guys in the face. Get stabbed. Why can't my Examon perpetually be the same size as the other Examon? That would be hilarious to me. You got Examon! And then you just can't see anything ever because he's so big. Or every single battle just gets teleported to the top of a roof so that Examon can fight. Where's my canonically accurate size Examon game? I mean, just look at Apoclamon. In a way, he is canonically accurate size. He's a tiny, tiny little action figure man. <laughs> Donkey Kong ate too many bananas, and now he has to endure a severe case of chronic Kongstipation. Considering that he hoards the bananas of Kong Island, serves him right. Sure, other people try to steal his bananas, but that's just because he hoards them. When's the banana communism gonna come? Smack Alphamon all you want, you're still gonna get smacked. And again, I still find it hilarious that I accidentally ended up with so many like Royal Knight Digimon. I did not mean that. I was just like, I'm gonna go down this evolution path because I think this Digimon looks cool. And then their final evolution just happened to be a knight. And I, t I don't know why. I love that the anime went from a cheaper way to animate to its own art form. Did it do that? I forget. What was their cheaper way to animate? I don't think this is where they'd be hiding. I doubt the humans would go into a digital place. <laughs> first attack. We always get first attack. Because they're random encounters, game. If you mean, like, the evolution sequences, I think that was, like, popularized by, like, magical girl shows long, long, long ago. The stock we're going to transform into powerful forms to fight evil has, like, been a stock thing in, like, Japanese media for years before Digimon. I don't know exactly when, though. I can only assume that a magical girl show did it. Or maybe Kamen Rider. So a while back, there was a chess tournament in town. Some of the contestants complained that they got kicked out of a hotel. When the manager of that hotel was asked about it, he noted that he hated chestnuts boasting in an open foyer. Ha! Ah, don't you gotta love puns? <laughs> For a moment, my brain had to be like, okay, what is that? What is the meaning? And then it's like, oh, it's a pun. <laughs> it's a pun! Just takes a single moment for my brain to process properly. How dare you survive three volleys of death? You must die now. Because the thing is, they don't do much damage, so it's like more economical to just save my SP by smacking them with normal attacks. I wonder what happened if I put auto on. I don't want to risk it though. Not even against randoms. Wind Claw! But yeah, the main reason why I wanted to come back and finish. Like, uh, oddly, I thought that there was going to be less, like, side quests. I thought there were only... I For, for some reason, I thought there were only a handful of side quests and the, the, the evil sins. 
game, I beg you, please let this be the end so that I can go on to the, uh... So I can go on and uh, to the end of the story. Why do they have to make the dudes be here? The evil criminals be here. Okay, after these guys, I am actually going to put on the less encounter thing because I just want to find the the evil dudes beat them down for dine and dashing and then hopefully get on with the main story because we've been going for almost three hours now luckily I got a slightly early start so if this is indeed the final like non-challenge non you slut why well, I, I guess I could just bring in who? Bring in Mastamon, and Mastamon can heal him if he doesn't die. Please don't die. That would be mean. I guess we could guard. Guard break, you're mean. You didn't even do it to the right one. A biologist created a new organism. A winged nocturnal rodent to be able to keep track of them. He attached small old bells to them. His name for them? Dingbats. That makes sense. As they fly around. Ding, 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 ding. Although that would get very annoying very fast. As a pun, it works. As a reality, I think people just be like, Ah, why you have to do that? And it was on that day that a bunch of people vowed to murder the dingbats. I forgot to turn on the thing. I'm thinking, can I just run? I cannot. No, we can't. Let's run. I do not care to bother with you. The entire evolution is an ability that gives itself and all its party members a 10% insta-kill ability to their normal attacks. That's evil. High security. Eliminate. I don't want to eliminate encounters. Oh, well. I just want to lower them. <laughs> Again, I'm just slightly annoyed that they're like, haha. We can insta-kill you. Because we are random encounters. But elsewise, no. No no random encounter. Like, he's just like, insta-kill only matters for things that have a lot of health. But every single thing that has a lot of health is immune to instant kill. Which is just the worst design. Well, maybe not the worst design, but it's a very annoying design to it. The... Here is insta-kill. It has a 10% chance to activate. Wow, so this means that it has to be, like, really powerful and useful. Actually, no, because everything worth using it on is immune. It's just like, why? Why would you do that? And, like, not even just that, but, like, panic, confusion, sleep. Everything is immune to everything. You want to use it on it, it's probably immune to it. You get to the final boss, he's immune to all attacks. Because you want to beat him. And, well, obviously we can't let that happen. Please be here. Nobody cares. Ah, oh, they are down here. Uh, under the big creepy hand. Well done, you managed to find us. To be honest, you guys just came here to be defeated by us, but well done anyway. You guys use Digimon, don't you? Well, we happen to be hackers too, so let's go. We are better. We are the better Digimon masters, as you will see. Here, I brought along this. I brought this along with me. Use it to fight this idiot. What? What are we fighting? This has a unique animation. What? this train though why is it a train digimon ground locomon wait locomon isn't that from one of the digimon movies 
This is a Digimon I found around here recently. After we had our little chat or two with him, he became a nice, obedient little slave. The pride of delight has been insulted. Avenge me, little Digimon. Put the herd on him. And now we uh, see this guy. He is the kind of guy that would be immune. Thank you for attacking a Digimon that is, like, worthless. Well, I guess we can change out. All right, so... Wait, what are you? You're data. And we only have one virus. Come on in, Apoclamon! Hilarious. Hmm. Let's just go with Pendragon's glory, because I don't even know what knockback does. And this is a boss, so it probably wouldn't affect him anyway. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know what's really useful and almost nothing is resistant to? I do not. Character reversal. I don't think I've heard of that one. Darkness Zone! Hmm. Actually, we're gonna move Examon out, put Mastamon back in, because they can do at least 25% damage to their current health at all times. Chaos! It gives the target the bug status effect, which reverses the effect on the type triangle. Oh. Neat. That, oh no. Is he going to just nuke everybody? Oh, that's what knockback does. Knockback moves him. So it's useless to me. Knockback is only useful in p player of fights. Neat. And of course, Darkness Zone. Knockback is worthless to me. Why is there everything that's good? And Marine Angemon, you can bring back in Chaos Gallopmon so we can maybe do some fighting. Combo time! And we get to combo of Terriermon. Neat. Kill him, Terriermon. You get... Oh, and you're gonna do speed charge. Luckily, that doesn't do much damage. Uh, I guess Holy Light. Smack him, I guess. So, for example, if you use it on a data type, normally data types are strong to vaccine and weak to virus. But it reverses that and makes it strong to virus and weak to vaccine. Character reversal sounds super nice. Especially if you have, like, a single type. Like, that way you could even build towards a single type to be strong against. That actually sounds like a really cool move. I don't think I've run into that yet. Either that I just overlooked it. How is the ground falling away? What? We killed ground locomon! Oh, Ground Locomon! Uh, please! Don't kill me! But what? But that, that doesn't make any sense! How could that Digimon be defeated so easily? You tortured him into being your slave! And you exp you guys did that, and you thought he would be strong? And almost nothing is immune to it, even the final boss. That sounds cool. Never. I'll never forgive you! Digimon are not tools for you to use! We were flung into this world and we don't know. Every day we struggle with terror and fear. There are Digimon being terrorized by humans. But there's also Digimon who believe there could be friendship between humans and Digimon. That ground Locomon probably thought that. Humans are... Humans are... I'm your friend, Terriermon. Uh, Neon. That's true. You're not like that, Neon. You help any human who's in trouble, and even Digimon like me as well. We haven't spent much time together, but even so I know. You're a kind and warm-hearted, Neon. Like Neon said, give yourself up to the police. Reflect on what you've done and set it right. Even people like you can turn things around. So I'm going to try to trust in you. 
Yes, I will meet. I'll leave immediately. How did the ground fall away like that? Well, I guess this turned out well then, wouldn't you say? We just accidentally killed Ground Locomon. Well, Neon, I think that that about does it for my case. You know, the reason I picked you wasn't just because you're a capable detective. I wanted to make friends with humans, but I myself was afraid of them. So I asked you guys because you have a good reputation among Digimon. Humans like those guys, and I will never understand each other. Some part of me will always be afraid and never want to be around them. But when I see you, I understand. Whether it's a Digimon or a human, you have a way of looking at someone and gaining their trust. So I'd like to be able to look at people in the face and be honest, like you. I'd like to be able to make friends without being afraid. <laughs> the female main character in this game is really expressive. I've only ever played the game with this uh, main character, so I wouldn't know, but... Huh, interesting. I wonder if that was uh, just an accidental thing on their part. And finally, I would like to ask you something, Neon. My hand is small, but Pinky promise? Promise me, however hard it may be, you'll never give up. You'll create friendships between Digimon and humans and do your very best. It's a promise. Yeah. Well, anyways, it was really awesome how you dealt with that case, Neon. Thanks. I came off then. See you later. All this was undercut that I started this stream by feeding a bunch of Digimon to another to power it up. Master Disc and Master Guard. Well, looks like things went just like the client helped. You and Terriermon both have really grown up a lot, I feel like. Let's see. What are those items? Well, first, we need to put things back in order. Alphamon and Examon settings. What are those things that we just got? I do have barriers to stop that, but meh. Master Guard, all attribute damage, minus 10. Hmm, might be nice. Master Disc. Ah, raises just a bunch of everything. What was that other one? Oh yeah, I think it was the Master Guard. Yeah, Master Guard and Master Disc. Hmm. I think I'll give you the master disc because you have the penetration so being able to have just a lot of stuff for you would be really good you have multiple slots so i'll give you the tactician usb i suppose hmm. and then i suppose we could also give you the master guard because you're kind of weaker than everybody else Sure, why not? But, yeah, that seems to be it. Just the Great Challenge series of events. Which is just, hey, go fight the strong boss type. And then the parallel world things. Mire, Digilab, and Seven Evils Rampant in Our World. I give you the Wheel of Fate that binds us all. I have no idea what that's about. Maybe, there will, maybe we'll do a bonus stream about the Deadly Sins. Mm, I don't know. Hmm. Can you look at Alphamon's stat for a moment? Alphamon's stat. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, or, no, not organized. Settings. Alphamon, Alphamon. Alphamon! This thing weird? Uh, hit triangle. Oh, my brain. He's a personality nimble type. I know nothing. <laughs> I have no idea what any of this means. Because I am a fool. They gave it 100 ABI? I think so. I've A lot of these Digimon at the late game are like, have a billion ABI. 
It's weird. Or maybe I just accidentally got a 100 ABI by various ups and downs digivolutions. I forget. It's been a long time. I know I did some grinding at points, so who knows. I'm just completely lost when it comes to these systems. Personally, I'm not a fan of the ABI. Hmm. A part of me kind of wants to try one. Now, most of these games are bonus Digimon that game hands you. Oh, okay. Interesting. I assume you mean the parallel world. I think. I'm, I'm, my brain... I, my brain works too fast. But, either way... Eh, I think we'll just go finish things off. Return to the top of Metropolitan. Ah, nice. It'll teleport me there. Ready to go? Time to see the journey through to the end. All the Royal Knight Digimon you filled out your party with. I do know that there's, like, the NX ones that they give you. But all these ones, I I just accidentally got to. Again, most of the knights, I just randomly were like, I'm gonna go down this Digivolution path because I like the look of that Digimon. And then it just turned out to end in a royal knight. And I didn't even mean it. I didn't even mean to get a Poclamon or Examon. I was just like, I'm going to work towards just this one. Or I have this. Dig you sure? Because I have an Alphamon exactly like that one. I'm pretty sure it came from the bonuses. No, because, uh, well, let's quickly go back because they are different. I'm fairly certain. I'm fairly certain that my Alphamon is one that I just accidentally lead into. The bonuses are specific ones. The, they are, uh, bup, bup, bup. they are these guys, the NX, Alphamon NX, little chibi guys that they hand you at the beginning of the game. There are these ones. I chose not to use them because my brain just went, meh, I want to make my own Digimon path, and then I uh, accidentally ended with an Alphamon anyway. Plus he looks cooler. Ain't that just a funny way of things working? <laughs> I won't use these royal knights handed to me. Ends up with them anyway. They're just no longer chibi. Well. We've been going for about three hours, which normally would be the time where I would end, but I want to see this through. Let's go story. Alphamon is right. I've become very fond of your world. I don't want to leave it with any regrets. Once you're ready, just let me know. I'll be waiting here. Enter the digital world! Suido has his own goals, and I'm certain he's using us to achieve them. Still, at the same time, we're using Suido to rescue my brother. To create a new world, that is his objective. To erase all sadness from all worlds. Everything he's done has been to achieve that. Everything he'll go on to do as well. But that... that's not really possible, is it? Especially considering that he manipulated you into, like, going crazy, growing a demon arm, and killing people. Somehow, like... Alphamon over there survived, somehow. Got spat out. Whatever he aims, it doesn't change ours. He may desire the creation of a new world, but we're going to stop the destruction of the old one. Random lyrical song in the background. That fits for an epic moment for Digimon. Good. Now then, let us do what must be done. We must fly into the wormhole of doom! I partially kind of forgot that Suido existed. The story's kind of whack and interesting. And now for the first time in, I think, truly, unless we count the memories, Chapter 20, From the New World. And the achievement to go with it, Chapter 20. Okay, that's weird then, because my party has an Alphamon Uriken and an Apoclamon, and I've got the NXs too, but I also have a Paeldramon. It could just be that we share, like, Digimon, like, 
preferences. So as we digivolved our Digimon, we're like, I'm gonna go with that one. And then it just led us directly to the same po Digimon choices. That's entirely possible. Which could also be kind of a like a design bias on the part of the developers where they're like, we're gonna make these cool Digimon into Royal Knights. And then a bunch of people just ended up going that way because like, ah, this is a cool Digimon. This is the digital world? This is horrible. How many eat? Oh, yeah, we flash back. It's been consumed. And the whole world's gonna end up like this too? No, because I'm here. Where is Suido? Let's keep moving. It'd be hilarious if this chapter was literally just walk up, fight that end chapter. Hello, weird thing. Sorry, I don't speak Moon Rune. W what's that sound? <laughs> I pronounce it Suedo. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, to my ear, it sounds like they're saying suedo. But I could be wrong. Pronunciation, even of English words, eludes me. Everyone, stay alert! It is right in front of us. It is a floating monster. This is King Drasil 7D6. A genuine King Drasil terminal. King Drasil sees us as foreign objects. He's been totally worn away by eaters. King Drasil no longer possesses any will. I can't hear his voice either. Before us is a wall that blocks our progress. It's nothing but a mere program. <laughs> if it's just a wall, we just have to break through it. I'll help. Consider it part of my rehabilitation. Yeah, because we got him this Digimon. Whoa, very buff! When you get so strong, Arata? <laughs> Who do you think you're dealing with? Way to go. Even when he's not in top form, he's still legendary. Gotta hand it to the original leader of the Judes. To have gotten Digimon that can rival mine in such a short span of time. It's cause I helped! You're a real hardcore nerd. And something of a sore loser. To be blunt, I'm a little bit turned off. Jesus. Hey! Don't call me a nerd! I'm a geek! And Yuko, what about you? Your personality hasn't changed. Meanwhile, there's just me, smiling. Ah, <sighs> you all were the possibility I believed in. You need more self-awareness in that regard. Quit speaking in wingdings! Here it comes! Would be hilarious if I just had all of my teammates on my side. Just to really punch it up and up we just have one guy let's see smack him no defense for you how dare you punch my digimon let's see how much damage everyone does individually if you do less than a 444 you are being replaced by a baklamon pin dragon's glory Blast him away! Ah, you got a critical. You cheated. What would character reversal do to this guy? He has no type. And Chaos Gallantmon, you shall be replaced by a Pucklemon. They give each other shit, but nobody even wants to address the MC and the absolute insanity of their growth rate. Especially if they just go, I'm going to have everything. Well, let's speed charge. It's just like, if they had, like, all the USBs and, the, like, the Numamons, and they just go, I can level up faster than anybody. Fear me. Meteopo. Pizza crust! Oh! More Pin Dragon's glory! I have to wonder what they thought about my character in her three shit mon. <laughs> They're just like, don't talk about it. Don't make eye contact. I do find it amusing that I... A master barrier? What do you do? I'm gonna have to take a look there. Level up for everybody.
Ready as ordered, I guess. Everybody, look up at the sky! Suido flying through it. <laughs> I forget what voice I gave Suido. It's been so long. Ah, uh, my, um, the migration of the eaters. So majestic. What, what? Are those all eaters? It's like they're heading somewhere. No, being forced to gather. Suido is leading them. And so that's where King Drasil's main unit must be. Okay, let's go! And I'm slowly dying. Arata, I don't even want to address the fact that my powerful Digimon was defeated by three little shits. Conceal, don't feel. I like the music that's playing. Where were you two when I was fighting the, the King Drasil unit? Is that the entrance? I don't know if I'd call it much of an entrance. It's a hole worn away by the eaters that goes all the way down to the core. Then King Drasil himself will be down there. But it's now a den of eaters. What Suido called the Mother Eater is there. It's the boy! So that... Now he can't even talk, he's... Great, he's Gaster! Yugo is calling to us. Yeah, he's been waiting for us this whole time. Brother, I'll be with you soon. Don't get suicidal on me. Alright, let's go rescue our friend. This time for sure! We're all coming home together. Unless I die and my body gives out, because that's been happening. Oh, we can move. <laughs> That's a camera angle! We can't even save. The game's like, nope, oh, we're in a bad place. No saving for you. First things first is power up everyone back. Again, I love the music. Back to Chaos Galatmon so we can cover all our bases. And uh, then settings, because... Uh, so can we take a moment to address the fact that Yuko wears her goggles on her arm? That's not goggles work, you know? That's the thing that I've been wondering, though. Is, like, this entire time, like... This entire time... Like... She... Has the instant death success rate. <laughs> really? But yeah, it is, it's amusing that... We're basically the friend of what's supposed to be the main character. She got the the Omnimon, the Agumon Gabumon like duo. Jesus. When did this get so persona? That's the mother eater? Wait, does everybody have goggles? Then again, I have goggles, like, as my... Like a hairband. I can't really talk about how to wear goggles to these people. How can this be? King Drasil himself has been completely overtaken. No, that's Nokia. I'm talking about the little Miss Kuderi. <laughs> For my, my brain just went, oh, goggles? You must mean the... Because my brain went goggles to main character goggle status. And she she's the one... That holds the true main character status, because she went from Agumon Gabumon to Omnimon. She had no other Digimon. She is the main character. I'm just barely able to hold him back. As expected, the original functions of King Drasil are being almost entirely suppressed. All the eaters we sent back have incorporated programs that just send out junk data over and over. Even King Drasil's calculation functions have hit a temporary buffer overflow as a result. Like a Trojan horse, like a virus vector. Neither description is technically mistaken. Like the Russian folktale of the giant turnip. Anyway, we need to debug King Drasil, and soon. 
Oh my, you'd like to return to Tokyo? No. That's interesting, they gave you the option. Then let's head for the Mother Eater! Yuko has been waiting for some time. Kind of nice that to give you multiple opportunities. Like if the if the last unit just completely kicked your ass, you're like, I need to go back. You can. God charge. Break through his defenses anyway, fool. Let's go ahead and guard break you while I'm here. And we'll speed charge us, so we can go slightly faster. <laughs> Just guard charge again! We'll go ahead and swap Gallantmon out for Apoclamon, so that he can do his guaranteed 4-4-4. Huge Crystal! Ow. Bastard. King Drasil 76. Ha! <sighs> 100 damage because it's a critical. Break through that defense! I'm here to do guaranteed 444! Get it? Because it's, uh, it's a Japanese thing. Quit defensing yourself. Let's see, uh, I guess... I guess I just speed us all up. Again, because why not? Another guard charge. What is your problem? I have a guard break. Stop. You fool. I love the music that's playing. Level ups for everybody. That was a good thing that I chose to digivolve them all anyway. And now we can say for some reason. Interesting. Come on. My brain is just messing up all the buttons. And of course, we're going to go ahead and heal again and give everybody more power. And we're just going to have Apoclamon out. Worst comes to worst, we send him back. Because I think we're going to be... <laughs> we have a long walk. I wonder if there's going to be random encounters in here with eaters, considering the length we have to walk. Although I do kind of like the idea that the developers are just like, fuck it, long walkway path to the next enemy. Just as an aesthetic choice. I want the player to spend one full minute walking from battle to battle, not because of any actual, like, random battles I'll throw at them, just for the vibes. Does function call work? Actually, that's something we could try. Function call! <laughs> it does not! Function call doesn't work! There's nothing to fight here! That's hilarious! Rune forest? Interesting. Uh, uh, smack. Also, the one thing I love is that I got my Alpha Mon at the same time that our our boss turned out to be Alpha Mon. Which I just find hilarious. I got Alpha Mon. I heard you like Alpha Mon, so I got Alpha Mon for your Alpha Mon. And now we're double speed. Or was that just my speed? My brain is melting. Yeah, attack the one that can never die. Um, and then I guess Panic Wisp, because I'm here. And it's blocked. I mean, I could just, like, move Examon out, since he's not doing much damage against these guys. Maybe bring Mastamon in. <laughs> you missed, you fool. Now get Darkness Zoned. Pizza crust for everyone. With hot and cold running water. 
Speaking of running water, smack him. 79 damage. God, now I'm thinking there has to be, like, some madman out there who's done a just a normal attack run of Digimon Cyber Sleuth. No skills, just normal attacks. And another Master Disc. Big gone, control unit. And once again, we'll heal everyone up. Oh, nobody really needs to be healed that time. And uh, then I think we will see about... Oh, not organize settings. We have another master disc we can give. I guess we can give you a master disc. Master disc for the boy. And speaking of organize, we shall throw... Maybe we could bring Shine Greymon in, maybe. Ah, but we should probably bring him in for variety, not just another vaccine. And now for our aesthetic walk. Our, like, 30-second to, like, minute walk to the next boss. I still love that Apoclamon is just so tiny atop his decahedron of doom. He's like a tiny action figure on, <laughs> on a pedestal. For some reason, this reminds me of, like, Kingdom Hearts. Just, like, the castle. And the weird black and white. I haven't even gotten to, like... I've only ever played the first Kingdom Hearts game. I need to fix that someday. Yeah, <laughs> you missed, you, you fool. You meringue. Pizza crusts and defense cut. I do guaranteed damage. <laughs> that is why I am here. And we'll go ahead and guard break you more. How dare you resist that? You're illegal. Oh, hey! Combo up and gave back our, like, SP. Nice. And you missed again. You are a sad little man. Demonic disaster. I like that I have, like, the dark version of Omnimon. Just, once again, purely by accident, I just w went there and was just like, hmm, there's a fusion mon. I guess I'm going to go do that. And it turns out to be like the the other one. I was just like, how do I keep doing this? <laughs> Another tactician. Although at this rate, I don't really want to get rid of my stat ups. Here we come, King Drasil. <laughs> and now I'm suddenly reminded of the meme. And where are... Come out, Dracula, you bastard. Where's my money? And now I think we really have entered into the one-minute walk of doom. Oh, it's a load screen. We should probably save. I think I saved. Did I save? I forget. Spastic saving. But, ah, tone change, my favorite. If you want to go and visit Mire, you can. I'm almost more disturbed that she has access to this place. Hello, bastard monster. I'm here to kill you. What do you think, Neon? Can you make it? I think it's impossible as things are now. Activity is being suppressed by a large number of eaters. Movement seems to be greatly restricted. Their fighting strength is in an unknown quantity, but unknown means we compare favorably for now. 
<laughs> Time for the epic music. That said, they look like they're ready for us. Then let's attack! Be careful not to hurt my brother. And I can't say anything. We're the four Digi Destined, here to kick your ass. Oh boy. Cut through its defenses! Pizza crust for everyone! <laughs> that can't be the final boss! That cannot be it! It is a false security! How's this, Neon? I'll leave the task of saving Yugo to you. Please, Neon. Rescue Yugo! Please save our good friend! Let me guess, that thing is supposed to have just a bunch- it doesn't have a bunch of health, it just has a bunch of, like, uh, defense, doesn't it? And I have a defense cut and a guaranteed damage prompt. Huh? Neon! Sorry, guys. I'm breaking up. This might be it. That sounds creepy. This way. I saved your sister. Surely I can save you. And I saved Arata. I've missed you. I've been so lonely. You came for me. I'm so happy, happy, happy. Hurry up. I want to see you all. That doesn't seem good. No! Ah, so he's not all there. I was looking for everyone, looking this whole time. I finally found you. I don't want to be by myself anymore. I want to go home, go home, go home. No, that's not it. It's playing the music again. I love the music in this game. Why did you run away and leave me? Did you not like me? Is that why I'm locked in here? Don't listen to that voice! I hate you all. All of you. Just go away. All of you. Just die. Don't listen to my voice! Somebody find me! Jesus, that look on the MC's face. I said she was expressive. Yep. Yeesh. Well, I am coming to help you. Ah, you're less fragmented here. You mustn't come here! Eh? But I'm already here. Is it because- is Suido doing? Is it Suido's doing? Huh? Nihon! You- you go! You go! Arata, Yuko, and Nokia too. We did it! It's really Yugo for real! Hey, Yugo. Long time no see. Yugo, I'm so glad. I'm so, so glad. Listen to me, guys. If we don't do something, if we don't do something, the world as we know it will be utterly consumed by the eaters. What do you mean by that? I was fully absorbed, imprisoned by them, and I became part of their shared data network. One of my roles was to suppress their activity. Suppress their activity? Yes, I tried to keep their rate of erosion down. They have nothing we could, would call awareness. They store and share data, and by influencing each other, are building a single unified consciousness. Each individual eater acts as a single part of one great consciousness. 
So, the Geth. The Eaters are digital reality eating Geth. And using that unified consciousness network, you were able to appear here and there in cyberspace. That's how you showed yourself before Neon and the others. By using the Eaters as a terminal, yes. But I wasn't authorized to send my thoughts. All I could do was send fragments of my memories, as data over and over again. I had plenty of limitations, but in the end, it all managed to work out. The mental data of the humans incorporated by the Eaters is stored within the network. All of it. Well, that, and that means... If Yuko isn't part of the network anymore... The erosion speed will increase without limit, and we might lose all the stored mental data. Even so, that's a condition for evolution! It's necessary for the creation of a new world! And they just let him walk by. The loss of even the smallest world, the birth of even the smallest grief, cannot be allowed! I will bring order to this new world. You go. You have suffered and grieved enough. You must be released from those shackles. Thank you, Neon, for rescuing him. Only you, with your skills, could have done it. You are a miracle of the old world. However, do not allow yourself to be surprised. In the new world, miracles like that will be commonplace. And then he just walks right into the eater. Suido, what are you up to? I will take Yugo's place in the group consciousness. Huh? What I mean is, I will become the eater's consciousness myself. Their sole driving will. And, with King Drasil's omnipotent calculations and the Eater's high diamond, no, ultra-dimensional data transmission functionality, my will shall use these things to bring forth a new world. Why is everybody in this game insane? Does that mean I have to go in there again? Or is he gonna transform it? Will he actually have the will to overpower the entirety of the eaters? Oh great, now he's getting angels. I really do like the design. And what become of everything. Oh no. Did he actually create a... Nope. What? Are we in a new world? Is he a statue? His hands were up a minute ago. Is that just one hand? Or is there more hands? You are a disturbing little man thing. Great. Now he has wings. Well, this ain't good! Well, just listen to you. Neon, you can pull Suido back from the br brink? Oh, I see! Way to go, Yuko! Good thinking! Good thinking, but, uh, but to the point! We're gonna have to fight it again, I assume. You should quit now while you're ahead. <laughs> Neon? Your half-cyber body was unsta- Sole purpose is its name! Jesus. Your half-cyber body was unstable and has deteriorated from repeated eater contact. The earlier connection jump to Yugo exposed you to serious damage, I believe. That can't be, Neon. The next contact will be all it takes to bug your compromising data. Destroy it and erase it. That was all part of the plan. 
<sighs> this is why we can't trust adults. Stop, Neon. Don't risk it. That's right. If we lose you, another big traumatic event will occur, right? We, we wouldn't be able to recover from that. Besides, we promised we'd all come home together. The five of us. Do you hear me, jerk face? Yes, exactly. Nokia is right. Without the five of us, the mission is a failure. I hate failure. I can't deal with it, so please, don't do this, Neon. What do you think, Yugo? Think you can follow up the lady's moment in the spotlight? Oh, oh dear. Yuko, Nokia, you, you guys, what can I even say? Like, seriously? I got it. I understand your confusion. There's my bud. I'm glad you're making sense. I'm gonna start spouting tears of joy here. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing in the face of extinction. At last I can rebuild the world. I can finally eliminate everything that is crooked, ugly, or sad. I have to talk fast because I don't know how fast they'll talk and get rid of the subtitles. What are you going to do about that? The new world that Suidos desires. That too is one of the choices the future holds. <laughs> he can start with himself. Yeah, that is kind of ugly. He may likely save all worlds. I feel King Drasil's presence and will within him. King Drasil would join forces to create a perfect world beyond even our digital world. There would be many changes. The evolution he speaks of, forced onto the world, would bring the cre with it creation as well. My role could be to watch over this conclusion. But, what do you all think? What do you all want me to do? I doubt they'll give me the option of like, yeah, let's side with the crazy guy. We have to stop Suido. To live in a world made by a madman will be unpleasant, to put it lightly. Let's take the fight to him. We can do it. Yeah, it'll work out. Right, Omnimon? He just nods. I see. All right, let me ask you one last time. What are you going to do? We're gonna fight. It would be kind of neat if there was a Digimon Cyber Sleuth anime. I think it'd be neat. Judgment has been passed. Human children bow to my will. Combat time? I think it's combat time. Ah, oh, so he does have multiple arms. Ah, Rune Force 3. He doesn't do much damage. Oh, he has two freaking. Oh, multiple body parts are acting on their own. Ah. Uh... I guess I'll go for the arms. It's playing the op like the menu theme. Oh, you bastard. I heard uh, the let motif of the opening theme in there. I'm gonna turn up music on my end. This is awesome. And this is definitely a JRPG final boss. Ah, Transcendent Sword! He can attack everyone, too! I like it. We broke one of your hands. What you gonna do? Keep taking damage. No, not Panic Wisp. No. Good, it missed. I didn't want to get panicked. Transcendent Sword. We have two Omnimon in this fight, brought out by the boss's own will. Yeah, Supreme Cannon, this bitch. And it didn't do much. Uh, take up the hand, will ya? It's supercharged. Oh, no.
I like the music. I like this, like, final boss feeling. Oh, no. Well, I guess we can heal everyone. And then on somebody else's turn, I'll activate more energy for Alpha Mon. Well, first... Yeah, sure. Let's. This is the time to use this. It's the final boss. We can a little. We can use a an item as a treat. Uh, go ahead and whack out that hand. Bust through its defenses, ultimate Oriokin. Keep blasting, Omnimon. Upgrade? What do you mean, upgrade? Supreme Cannon, it's chest! Don't let it upgrade! Oh, hey, the two Omnimon... Oh, I thought it was good. I thought the two Omnimon would fight together. No, it's the... The, the Zwart and Chaos. And there's that, uh... Let motif of the opening <laughs> title theme again. Zros Combat! Take on my defense cutting capabilities. What? Why'd he vanish? Oh, you're coming into fight now, for some reason. Um, smack its chest. I don't know why the guests changed. That was interesting. <laughs> the guest just changed for some reason, and no experience. That's odd. He's gonna punch us, isn't he? That's dynamic. What the fuck? Yuga? I know the eaters. They're weak, aren't they? Why is Yugo going Super Saiyan? My strength alone wasn't enough to stop you. But this time I have friends. Now I will win. Yugo is going Super Saiyan? Everyone, now! I, I have no uh, subtitles for that. Oh, great. Now we have to fight his wings. Vanquish Drive. And uh, all of that, and you hardly did anything. Once again, Alpha Mon needs their. Defense busting capability. Take that data! Take it down! Wow, oh, it almost did. Schmiggity schmack it all! Transcendent Sword! Take out the wing, please. Darn it. Stop. Why did it just say stop? Uh, I guess I can target down the weak body <laughs> for the ultimate attack. Get smacked, idiot. Leave Chaos Gallimon alone. Smack his chest. And Transcendent Sword again! Finish off that wing! Oh crap, I probably should have focused that wing. Can you destroy that wing, please? Oh crap, that wing's gonna be evil. Luckily, Vanquish Dive does nothing, and that decides to stop. Once again, Ultimate Oriokin. Okay, first thing, I shall heal everybody. Ah, and then, 
Let's restore everybody's SP, just in case. It's the final boss, we can splurge. And plus, maybe Omnimon will get the kill, that'll be neat. You keep saying stop. Well, let's see if we can destroy that wing. Maybe we need to focus on the body now. Because both the wings are low. Transcendent sword, because we can! Am I missing something? Nope. <laughs> we just had to wait it out a bit. How does it feel, singular purpose? Why do you have, like, a torso with, and from where your neck is, another body comes out? You're weird. <laughs> he fell backwards, and now he's forward again. Excellent! But Suido is still inside the Mother Eater. What shall we do? Well, should we lock him up in here for now? It's not a perfect solution, but for the time being, it's our best course of action. Well then, let's get help from the Royal Knights and the other Digimon! Right, we'll take care of this giant thing by ourselves. Maybe we can make it happen, but the odds are sure stacked against us. Every gamer ever. I need to save all my best healing items for the final boss. Also every gamer ever. Don't use any of the best healing items on the final boss. I, I try to be a different flow of fate in here. Sorry, I am I need to do this. I probably need to go save Suido. My body's already breaking up. My body's probably already dead in the chaos. I need to go save Suido. I need to live up to my protagonist status. Oh, hey! Neon, no, you're not going to. You idiot! I told you not to! Suido said your body couldn't take it, didn't he? He also said he wanted to make a new world. Alphamon, stop Neon! You gotta do something! M Miss Kyoko! Go, Cyber Sleuth! Find the truth that only you can! What, what is Neon doing? No, why? We said not to! Oh no! Let's see Neon's decision through, however it happens to turn out. Time to have a long conversation with Suido, I guess. What will happen to all my Digimon if I die? My goodness, you've come to rescue me too. You ignored my warnings and wound up in such a wretched form. Such a waste of effort. I have been fully assimilated by the Mother Eater. You're not like Arata or Yuko or Yugo. You'll never find me. You're wasting your time. And even if you do find me, I won't go back. I would sooner disappear than not allow sadness to vanish from all possible worlds. I find it hard to comprehend why you would choose a world where sadness is so widespread. You're the same way. In doing this, you bring sadness to Arata and the others. It's so strange. There's no logic to it. What will change if you rescue me? Who will be happier for it? Do you have a satisfactory answer for me? We don't want to leave anyone behind. But that's just your ego talking, surely. I made a promise. This is rather ominous. I'm confused. Even with all of Gingrasil's calculating power, I cannot derive an answer for you. What? What's this? What? 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 Is that so? Is that what it is? It just hit me. I finally understand. God does not play dice with the universe. 
All of you were the dyes this whole time. Can you bet on dyes that have wills of their own? I see. I see. In this way, multiple universes are formed through infinitely branching space-time. A waste, meaningless, and without value. After all, what was defined as a fluctuation cannot exceed the perspective of the observer. I understand. Awareness at a single temporal point causes realities to combine. Hmm. Hang on, though. Please, wait a moment. Please, wait a moment. Please, wait. That seems to be a logical leap, no? Oh, my, that won't do. We can't have you disappear here now. You shall validate my new theory as one of my precious dice. I'll call it the theory proving the existence of a god who creates dice tossed by a god of dice. And to prove this theory, I must disappear along with the eaters. Our existence is too unique and overpowering. We will throw off the results of the equation. The eaters will simply return to their original role. To the form they should have had before they were corrupted by the digital world we created. A higher dimension extends over countless parallel worlds, including both ours and the digital world. The Eaters existed in regions we cannot and must never access. These higher dimensions are beyond our capacity to even imagine. They comprise part of a vast system that could be called the great intent of the works of the gods. The Eaters were manifested through contact with our data in our dimension and took on its form and substance. The results were as you have seen. Whether this effect was by chance or predestined, I cannot say. Only the gods know for sure. Even if I were to ask King Drasil, I don't know if King Drasil has a, even has a gender, but his calculations do not confirm the existence of any godly entities. However, his calculations are still ongoing, so who knows what the ultimate answer will be. In any case, I shall require King Drasil's help in order to reformat all the Eaters that have connected to me. We cannot remove them from every dimension, nor is there any reason to do so. The possibility of a similar event recurring in your future is 1 in 8,192 to the 20th power. So please, don't worry about it. If my calculations are correct, your universe will cease to exist before that ever comes to pass. So you can live and die free from the Eaters. Oh, and be born again to prove my theory. <laughs> I won't give you a choice in the matter. This is just my ego talking. I shall therefore take my leave of you now. If you are so inclined, maybe we shall meet again. You're an interesting man, Suido. I'm back. And I'm dying. What she screamed. Neon. You... You made it back? Neon made it back? For reals? What the heck did you think you were doing? You jerk, you stupid jerk face. Listen, you. There's only so much crazy stuff we're gonna let you get away with. What were the rest of us supposed to do if you didn't make it back? Was it just my ego talking? But all's well that ends well. I'm still glad. Huh? And what about Suido? It looks like he's gone. He seemed quite satisfied. What? 
the deal with that? I guess that's just like him, though. Oh, whoa! It's King Drasil's will! King Drasil's normal functions have resumed and seem to be restoring the digital world. Oh, hey! Shouldn't we be leaving, then? Yes, we'd better get out of here. Hmm, a reasonable decision. Okay, let's move. Are you okay, Neon? I suppose. I kind of like the fact that, like, Suido combined with... Oh, this God's return! Yay! But, like, Suido combined with the omnipotence of... Like, the supposed omnipotence of King Drasil came to a different conclusion. That he couldn't just make infinite... Like, remove sadness and evil from the world. And so he instead decided to remove himself from the equation to let his theory play out. That's kind of interesting. This takes me back. Yeah, it's the digital world as we saw it way back when! Are all the Digimon gonna return to the digital world? It's so beautiful! What's that? It's the mental data preserved within the Eater's network. All of... all of that is? Yes, King Drasil is sending it back to your world. And that will heal Eden Syndrome, right? Heal, that's not quite the right word, really. But something similar to that will likely occur, yes. A phenomena you humans will call miraculous. I don't quite get it, but Yugo and Neon will wake up! <laughs> and therein lies the miracle. My... my brother! That... that's excellent! And what's that? Is that me? Or is that Yugo? Or is that Suido? Who's that? Dance at the glowing light of happiness. What? Ah! What is that? Wait, what's going on? This is too adorbs! This sphere is the Eater's original form. Eh? <laughs> That's how it scans, moving from one piece of data to the next. Sending information to a higher dimension. It has no clear objective, but I have one theory. Things like St. Elmo's fire, UFOs, strange orbs, these light-emitting bodies were made temporary visualizations of an eater in a digital wave. What we take as the plasma phenomena could be an eater in its energy form transmitting information. If it's the behavior and first if it, it fits the behavior and first-hand accounts. This mystery circle form, impossible to recreate, is also one of the advanced uh, or maybe low-level ideographic symbols used in their network and... <laughs> what? What she said? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, it's nearly time for Kyoko Kirimi's farewell. I just wanted to feel the rush of giving an info dump one last time. What? Or maybe I'm simply reluctant to part with you. By parting, you mean... Yes, that's what I mean. King Drasil will soon send you back to your world. In order to completely restore the digital world, we must remove all foreign objects. Ah, we're being treated like bugs. I could get the feeling that Neon is happy enough just the way they are. The half-cyber thing. Ah, eh, we've been dying slightly, but maybe we'll be half Digimon now. King Drasil... Does King Drasil wish to restore the digital world to the state it was in before we arrived? To the way it was more than eight years ago? More than that? Hang on a sec. That means... Does this mean we'll have never met then? That we're all gonna forget each other? Perhaps. That... that's... But in that case, we can just meet again. I'm certain everything will work out. Believe in your darling little dinobots. Yeah, right? Everything will work out one way or another. What I mean is, we'll make it work out! Well, it seems it's almost time. We'll send you back and recall the Digimon. The door that has been opened will be closed. 
This is farewell, human children. The worlds will return to the way they should be, a wide accepting yet chaotic place. That's the world we live in. And the crazy, beautiful, lovable world that raised all of you, our friends. I hope the day comes when you children and us, the Digimon, can become friends once again. And now, this case is finally closed. Let's see it. The end. Agumon, Gabumon! Thanks to you, we grew stronger! Thank you! Bye-bye! We'll most assuredly meet again! Bye-bye, everybody! <laughs> That's amusing that there's just a King Drasil unit right there. <laughs> and now we fly through data space. Away from a cosmos of digital worlds. Back to the physical world. And then we see a bunch of Digimon flying the other way! Or <laughs> That's neat, even if some of those Digimon feel like they're a bit too big. It's like she's singing to herself. The Digi Knights, the Royal Knights that helped us. What about that one? The 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 armored Vimon one that came from the parallel world. What's gonna happen to him? Everyone's going home. Does this mean the Digimon are going to be leaving our world? If so, things will get awfully lonely. Yugo! It's okay, Yuko. My cyber form is returning to my physical body. Then, then that means... Yes, I'll have a real body after eight years. It'll feel very heavy and confining. Ah, don't worry. I'll be there to help with your rehabilitation. Just go easy on me. Okay then. See you soon. He rises like an angel. What about me? We made it. Let's go home. Our world is waiting. But what about me, my body? Yeah! Is it because I'm half cyber? Let's go home. All of us together. And then I explode. I don't follow? It's because I'm digital too! Or am I becoming a Digimon? Or an eater? Am I falling back to the digital world? <laughs> That'd actually be funny. The sequel. Oops, you became a Digimon. So did is everyone gonna forget? Because the, the real world was kind of tied into the digital world. <laughs> and they're just like, oh no, Neon's dead. I dropped my goggles. And they're like, they just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> I can't believe. Nokia screams like a horn. A week has passed. For Tokyo, it's as if nothing has happened. Today, as always, it overflows of people. Is that right, though? Perhaps it was truly nothing. It could just be our memories. For everyone else, it'd be as nothing happened. I just got my last two tactician USBs for the hacker's memory side of the game. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that sometime. I'll probably take a break, though. As Arata, the self-proclaimed non-geek says, the split axis of time have merged once again. He explained a lot, but I slept through half of it, so I don't understand it all. But the upshot is... We have changed so much in eight years. Almost as if it never happened. How can you change and nothing happened? How can you change and stay the same? For us, this Tokyo is a completely new Tokyo. Ah, one without the Eden Syndrome, I guess. 
For example, Satoru Kamashiro, Yuko's father. He's alive? He's just an ordinary man. That really surprised me. As president of Kamishiro Enterprises, he's out there running Eden and other operations. And Nokia was the true main character the whole time. That's what I said! Yuko and Yuko might still be confused, but they should be able to lean on their dad soon for at least a few years' worth of time. The one who gets Algumon and Gobumon. They're the true protagonist. And then there's Rie Kishibe, secretary to the president. She didn't become crazy. They say she's deeply in love with Satoru. Yuko and Yuko might be getting a new mom soon. That'd be very weird for Yuko. After everything that happened in the previous timeline. Good luck, Yuko and Yugo. For example, the Eden Syndrome. The terrorist attack eight years ago in New Tokyo. Victims of that horrible attack ended up sleeping forever in a comatose state. Until they all suddenly regained consciousness one week ago. Yugo was one of the ones who woke up. He's now in rehab, and I'm helping. Of course, no one knows why they suddenly woke up. Because we can't tell them we beat out a super god. Right now, the theories that are most popular are that it was a divine miracle, or maybe aliens who did it. Not entirely wrong. Digimon are kind of alien. For example, Digimon. What can be said about Digimon? Nothing. They're both here and not here, right? Digimon Capture doesn't exist anymore. Or yet? The app that's really popular on the Digivice now is the one called Digital Monster. It's a sort of retro training game, but it's like, I've totally gotten into it. <laughs> Algamon and Gabumon appear in the app, among others, so it's, like, surprising or something. What's up with this? <laughs> I'm totally not getting this! Like, totally I give up. My brain is totally broken. She can't understand weird time shenanigans among universes. But, I might be able to figure it out. Oh, yeah. Our memories are linked in a, to a constant reality. Akami Suido isn't here in New Tokyo. It's as if he was never born. Yeesh. There's a little tightness in my chest, but... Arata, self-proclaimed non-geek, says it's good. Kyoko isn't here either. It, I looked, but I couldn't find her. But the Kiramei Detective Agency is here. There were traces of Kyoko here regardless. It's more like a big ball of wobbly, wibbly, timey-wimey stuff. Exactly. Is Kyoko around somewhere, I wonder? Is it just that we can't find her? Maybe she's waiting for her chance to come back. That must be it. Only a famous sleuth like you can find Kyoko. <laughs> Question mark. I know it. No doubt about it. And so... Please find her. Have I not woken up yet? Hey, now get off of the gloomy expression. It's not like you. It's really me. Is that the face you want to pull? What would Neon think? I get it, I really do, but... Please, come home. I'm like, don't worry. We haven't seen the last of Neon. According to the doctor, all vital signs are looking great. Neon's gonna be fine, I promise. Yeah. Don't be an idiot. What, you think Neon's wandering around Eden like a ghost somewhere? Like a certain someone we know? <laughs> that was a subconscious manifestation of my brother while trapped in the Eaters. It was all outside of his control. We're the ones who were responsible for all this happening. Blaming my brother for it was wrong. It's not like he was doing it all for fun. He deserves to have the record set straight along with an apology. <laughs> Whoa, why so serious all of a sudden? What? No, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
It says, Arata, the self-proclaimed non-geek says. Huh? <laughs> Are you going to gang up on my brother now too, Nokia? Hey, where are you going? Eden! I'm gonna go on a little search. If I just sit there moping and doing nothing, Agumon and Gabumon will laugh at me. Nokia? If there's a ghost, maybe there's someone who's seen it. And if I search Eden, I just might find some data fragments here and there. Oh, did I hit a full-on cyber silk mode just now? Okay, it's time to gather information. Come with me, assistant boy. What? Assistant? Me? Damn. I guess I'll hang with you then. Well, let's be clear. I'm the cyber sleuth and you're the assistant, right? I won't give up. Hey, are you listening? Ghosts. Oh, hey, it's Kyoko. It looks like you've finally woken up. I've been talking to you since I found you, but... I never got even the faintest response out of you. You woke up just when I was about to give up. Can you hear me? I guess I should explain the situation. This just really makes me want there to be a Digimon, like, mystery dungeon game. Not maybe, like, in the style of the mystery dungeon games, but, like... Like a human falls to the digital world and becomes a Digimon. That's what the vibe I'm getting here is. And I want it to be that kind of game, but it's not, and now I'm mad. I guess I should explain the situation. Your half-cyber body collapsed after attempting that crazy connection jump. The data that comprised you just dispersed. In other words, you're a husk of your former self. How do you feel? Do I have a body? I want to be a Digimon. Turn me into a Digimon. Yeah, don't worry about trying to tell me. Fate just won't give up on you. And neither will I. Taking on the will of King Drasil after so long. Becoming human, sleuthing, fighting my comrades. And I had this one assistant who kept doing all sorts of crazy things. That was a handful, let me tell you. But thanks to you, it was all a lot of fun. Thank you. I've been wanting to tell you that. Waiting for you to wake up. <laughs> what is it? Don't be bashful. Hmm? What's that? What's going to become of you now? As I said before, your data dispersed. Not even I can gather it back together now. You could wander around in here, in your semi-permanent state. Or, oh that's right, you could come to the digital world. How about it? Turn me into a Digimon! Yes! I'm about to get really busy. Theaters were reformatted by King Drasil, reverted back to a harmless state of being. But we still don't know much about their true nature. I surmise that their main unit is in a higher dimension that only King Drasil can detect. I do plan on confirming that, somehow. How about it? That's a job you're used to, right? Feeling like coming with me and being my assistant once again? Let me say yes. I want to become Digimon. Aw, oh, come on! How dare you lie! I want to be a Digimon assistant! Just kidding. No need to get so serious. I wanted to see you stressed one last se- or, uh, just- Why would you want to see me stressed out for a second? I've been affected by you humans quite a bit. That's why I understand why you do what you do. You want to help your friends. I've come to feel that way too. And it's not just me. Look and see. I'm gonna see all my Digimon! Hey! I just hilarious seeing like a Poclabon. I want to send you back so you can have all the pizza! I can barely see my little marine Angemon. <laughs> you see? In the same way I've been affected, your Digimon friends have also been affected. By you, and not just a few of them either. Since you were basically a digital life form as it was, you might be able to guess how large your impact was. The proof lies within these Digimon. Little bits of your data here and there. Friendship, love, bonds, moments of recollection. To put it bluntly, they are your memories. I'm thinking we can collect them, reconstruct your mental data and reinstall that into your body. 
It's unprecedented and a little drastic, but for what we want to do, we don't need to adhere to rationality. I've also got a little of your data to provide. <laughs> don't get mad if that data is a little weird. If there's one thing I'll regret, it's that you won't be able to enjoy my coffee anymore. It's time for us to say goodbye, Neon. My assistant, my companion, my friend. Okay, here goes the reinstallation. <laughs> Enjoy her coffee. You never know. Funky food can be an odd comfort weirdness. You will now be the master of your own future. But now I want that to be a thing. I still want a Digimon game where you become a Digimon and are flung into the digital world. Basically like that, your data has been dispersed, but you can come to the digital world with me, except that's the whole game. You turn into a Digimon now, and you go on an adventure. I think that would be neat. I really like this game. It is definitely wonky in some places, like the translation. Oh, I understand that this game basically what came out in a time when Digimon wasn't doing so good. You're going to play Hacker's Memory next? Not immediately, but I'll definitely get to it someday. So yeah, I'll maybe after I, because I have a few games lined up, I need to get back to Breath of the Wild so I can then move on to Tears of the Kingdom. I'm currently playing through the last case of the Ace Attorney Trilogy. Or like, not case, but last game of the Ace Attorney Trilogy. And I also still need to do one last bit for Pokemon Emerald, but we'll definitely get to Hacker's Memory at some point. That's partly why I came back to finish this, so that way I can eventually go and do stuff. But yeah, I enjoyed this game. Sure, the translation is wonky because it came out at a time when Digimon wasn't doing too good, so they didn't... They basically just gave the translation people a nickel and a dime and said, figure it out. And that's why there's some weirdness. Why reading it sometimes is hard. Why sometimes they cite a specific diddly D Digimon when it's an eater, and they're just trying to talk about a generic monster. <laughs> the translation isn't all that good, but the game, and the feel, the vibes, the aesthetic, that's good. The translation is functional. It's wonky, it's weird, but it's functional. And it serves to rail the game along... My main gripe is probably just with the overall, like, oh wait, all of those pictures are actually our data and that thing in the background is going to form our silhouette, isn't it? I just realized that. That's neat. But my main gripe is mainly the, like, design of the whole game itself and how the Digimon are handled. But let's see, is there an after credits? Installation complete. I'll continue my thoughts after this. I have returned. I have milk and coffee, apparently. Hey! Jimmikin! He, did he dine and dash? Why Jimmikin running? Who wants to grab him? What the hell? Damn, got away. Oh, sorry, I'm not sketchy. I'm Kyoko Kirimi, a detective. The real Kyoko? Interesting. I was sick for a while. My instincts are rusty. You have an odd way of drinking. Well, to each his own. It might really be good. I'll try it if I get the chance. Darn, it's not our Kyoko. She doesn't like weird coffee. Pardon me. I'll be on my way. I hope this doesn't seem rude, but... Have we met somewhere before? I feel like I've forgotten something. Something important. I'm your assistant cyber sleuth. I'm actually looking for an assistant right now. Would you think about working for with me? Come on, smile. Yeah.
That's neat. That's neat. Finn in the coffee. Perfect. That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> yes. That's great. New Game Plus is unlocked if there is saved data of a completed game. Yes. Let us save that data. But, now to give my total thoughts on Cyber Sleuth. The, at least one half, because this is the complete edition. But the original Cyber Sleuth before the Hacker's Memory sequel DLC, I think that is. Was it a standalone game? I or was it like, I forget. It's been a long time, my memory's blank. But yeah. The most obvious thing to talk about is the translation. It's not all that great. It's, it's wonky. Personally, I would have liked if they could have spent some of that, hey, this game did really good, then we're gonna make a complete edition. Let's tidy up, like, don't even redo the translation. Just have a few people play through it and say, hey, this is weird. Why are they referring to the Eater as a monster? And in the translation, it is specifically citing a specific Digimon. That is weird, change that <laughs> to just say monster. Like, a few little things. Just a small little polishing of the of the translation. There would still be weird moments and oddities, but I feel like they could have, like, trimmed it up just a little bit. But aside from that, the translation is fine. It got, it, got the game over here to English-speaking countries, of which, yay. But the main thing that I do, like, personally dislike is mostly just a Digimon story thing. Because as far as I'm aware, the way that the Digimon story, like, series of Digimon games work is basically like this. Turn-based RPG, well, not really turn-based, it's like, uh, speed-based with a little side thing. And you can go multiple times if you're good enough. But it's an RPG where you don't have a Digimon partner. You have a lot of Digimon, but you don't have a Digimon partner, and that's the one thing that I longed for after, like, being a fan of the, like, uh, the Digimon animes. Is I wanted a Digimon partner who talked to me and was my partner, my sidekick, my partner in crime. And basically, what Nokia got is what I wanted. I wanted little Digimon characters who were characters within the world and story to be a part of my team. Like, and I think they could have still done it. They could have, like, had a special Digimon that is always a part of your team and can be swapped out. Like, it's always in your team. It doesn't take any memory. It's always there with you. It's part of the story. You can't put it in a farm. And maybe it's a bit more restricted in its evolution because it's a special Digimon or something. But it's an actual character in its own right. And then all the other Digimon slots you can fill with normal Digimon like that. It's like, I think that would be nice. And that's kind of why I slightly prefer, like, Digimon Survive. Because the Digimon in that story were actually characters. So maybe it's just a Digimon story thing that I won't hold against other Digimon story games. It's just that this was the first Digimon game that I played to completion. Even though it took me a long time to come back and complete it. Meh. But yeah. I just wanted a Digimon, like a Digimon partner who is there with me. A friend. And when uh, that didn't really happen, that bothered me. You should try Digimon World Next Order. It's not exactly... uh. On your Digimon partners don't talk to you, but you, uh, you get just two of them. They're always with you, and they're all you get. And they're basically on a loop. They grow, evolve, die, and then come back in the egg and hatch into a new Digimon. That might be interesting. I do want to check out other Digimon games. Like, especially that Digimon Adventure PSP game. I know it wasn't translated into English, but a fan translation does exist. So I might try that sometime. But yeah. I'll definitely look into other Digimon games. Like, uh, I think there are a few on the DS. A few on the PlayStation 1. I think a few on the 2. And yeah, some newer Digimon games. 
I also kind of need to return to Digimon Survive to get the perfect ending, but the problem is I took a break from it, and a lot of Digimon Survive up to a certain point is just the same stuff. <laughs> I think Digimon World might be a later game in the same series as the Digimon Adventure thing you just mentioned. Maybe? I think uh, Digimon World Next Order, considering that it has the Digimon World name, should be in the Digimon World series. Because there's Digimon World 1, 2, and 3, I think, on the PlayStation 1. Then I think on the place on GameCube and PlayStation 2, there was Digimon World 4. Then I think there might be have been a, a few other Digimon world S games. Ah, it's a remake of Digimon World 3. Ah, that's what Digimon Next World is. Neat. But yeah, there's just like a bunch of Digimon games I want to give a shot. Because I like Digimon. And while this game didn't hit my ultimate Digimon fantasy. I have two Digimon fantasies. I have two ultimate Digimon video game fantasies that I hope will someday become. One is the more mainstream Digimon fantasy. I want a Digimon game where you're an original character and you get a Digimon partner who is a character in their own right and with you throughout the entire game. I think that would be neat. My second Digimon fantasy is basically Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. You get flung into the Digimon digital world, but you went through like an imperfect portal and then because it's like a technology, it's just like, ah, I do not know this dot man extension. I shall convert it to dot mon and you become a Digimon. Because it's like agu.mon, gabu.mon. It's like a file extension. And I feel like that would be a cool thing. A human becoming a Digimon. I just want that. To, and not like that one Digimon series where the humans are just like, I'm going to harness the power of Digimon and Digivolve into Digimon. No, they're a Digimon the whole time. That's the point of it. It's about the angst of losing your humanity and maybe preferring it. I don't know. That's my fa that is my fantasy dream Digimon game that will never happen. <laughs> but back on to Digimon Cyber Sleuth. But I guess I need to get uh, used to them remaking later games and then going backwards like they did with Toho Ginso Wanderer. They remade the third game and then went back and made the second one afterward. I can kind of understand that where they'd remake one of the later better games because it already has a solid base. So people be like, hey, I really liked that one because it was the good one out of the jank old games. And then they can go back and unjank the older ones that are harder to make if there is fan demand from the better sequel being remade. And if that gets a lot of like sales and people like it and attention, they can be like, ah, then we can do the harder job of unjanking the other ones. I could probably see that. But back to Digimon's uh, Slyber Sleuth as a game. I got sidetracked. The gameplay is fine. It's basic kind of rock, paper, scissors-esque thing. It is kind of interesting because there's like the vaccine unaffiliated data virus like rock, paper, scissors. But then there's also the elements that I basically ignored in the, after a bit because it's just like, eh, fuck it, damage. I do feel that there are some limiting aspects that are kind of meant to probably be like, oh, we don't want the player character to be too powerful. But considering some of the shenanigans they get up to, I'll get to that. But yeah, like the memory bandwidth, I can kind of get where they don't want you to have too... Like in the early game, it's meant to be like, oh, do you want to digivolve your Digimon? It will fill up your memory banks. So you won't be able to have as many Digimon, but then they kind of, like, lose out on that because eventually certain, at, like, commands can only be done if you have a certain level of Digimon with you. So I feel like that was kind of, like, and it, it, it's just weird. It's just a weird thing in the end. And I feel like they could have kind of revamped it to be not as constricting. I don't think it really ran into any issues with me personally, but... It's just an added stressor that bothers me. The other thing is ABI. I hate ABI. <laughs> I hear complaints about it all the time, about the latest one not being as good as the one before. Toho Ginza Wanderer was remade out of Tower of Desire, third game. And then they went back and remade Miracle Party, second game, into Lotus Labyrinth. And it confuses people. That's also a risk if you remake, like, a later game and it's better. And then you remake a, an earlier game and it's not. it doesn't have all the bells and whistles. That could, yeah, that, that could be an issue. 
the problem with one team like we want to remake a good game so people will buy it so that we can then remake the not as good games <laughs> but it is a conundrum but oh before i get distracted the one thing that i loathe above all else is abi i kind of understand it to a degree they should label it clearly then probably yeah, definitely but at the same hmm. that is an interesting thing how do you go? It probably depends. I'm not really a, a, as knowledgeable about Toho. Especially that the specific ones like Ginso Wanderer and Miracle Party. So I do not know. But ABI, the weird little thing where you need to level up your Digimon to max, which starts out at like 16, and then D, Digivolve, or Digivolve your Digimon, and you keep going back and down, up and down, D, Digivolve, Digivolve back until you get ABI enough to get the Digimon you want. I feel like that's just a time waster. Like, I feel that they already have the incentive to digivolve and de-digivolve by making it so that, like, the more you digivolve and de-digivolve your Digimon, the higher their level can be. And the higher their level can be, the more stats they can get. And I feel like that's already an inherent, like, incentive to digi digivolve and de-digivolve your Digimon a lot. The problem then comes when you might get locked into a situation where you fused Digimon, but then you'd need to de-digivolve the fused Digimon, and you only get one Digimon back. It's kind of annoying. That gets really easy when you have a set of Platinum Mons. True, but I don't... I feel like that's a cop-out. I feel like it's a, ever so slightly a cop-out when you need a specific strategy using specific monsters and items to make it work. If it's not inherent, and it's not something that the casual player will get to and do, because, like, I might I might not be a casual player, but I'm not, like, a super-duper, I'm going to hone in and make the greatest strategy. I'm not, that, I'm not that smart. Granted, you could just say, hey, you could look it up, but I feel like that's a cop-out. The game itself should supply the tools. I can uh, boost a Mega from level 1 to level 99 in a single battle with my setup if I run an XP bonus enemy. At least it's an option, but again, I do feel like it's a bit jank to require stacking bonuses from items and monsters to make an, uh, an aspect of the game more tolerable. It's not terrible, it's just... I feel like it's more of a holdover from older Digimon story games than anything. Again, I understand the want to encourage Digivolution and de-Digivolution, but then, way way back when I started this playthrough, before Digimon Survive even came out, I basically said, hey, what if there was a resource meter? And you could use that resource to digivolve your, like, rookie-level Digimon up to another level. And then that drains the more rounds that that Digimon is in that level. So there might be, like, call to make your rookie just a champion level rather than an ultra or ultimate. And what do you know? Digimon Survive kind of used that system, and I loved it. I know that people kind of ragged on, like, apparently, I, uh, <laughs> to be fair, I didn't hear much about people's thoughts about Digimon Survive, except a lot of people went, eh, I thought it was going to be more tactics, even though I could have sworn before Digimon Survive even came out, and I didn't even look up information, that the creator specifically said, yeah, this is going to be like this percentage visual novel, this per percentage tactics. And again, I did not look up information about Digimon Survive, it just came my way. How the hell did people miss that? Yeah. <laughs> also, there's a limit on how much you can boost your Digimon stats of booster items. It comes out uh, to 50 plus ABI uh, divided by 2. Hmm. 50 plus ABI divided by 2. So I guess ABI does serve more purpose, I suppose? That's fine. I feel like ABI could have stayed that. Basically, I don't think ABI should have infli uh, inflicted anything on Digivolution. It could have still stayed like that, where if you really wanted to min-max your stats, you could go and Digivolve and de-Digivolve and use those advanced leveling strats to really maximize your ABI accumulation. 
I think that would be cool. It's just that it feels kind of restricting when ABI dictates evolution. And again, as a, a casual person who didn't know the effective ways of tricking out, like, the le leveling USBs and getting the leveling Pneumamons, uh, it's just like, oh no, I, I spent so long just grinding experience at the end. Just to level up and Digivolve Digimon to get the... F I didn't even get the final Digivolutions of all my Digimon. <laughs> but yes. Uh, back to my thoughts. I was rambling about Survive. Like, yeah. I just find it amusing that I, somebody who sought out no knowledge whatsoever, knew that it was just like, Ah, yes, there is going to be a, a ratio of visual novel and tactics. And then people elsewhere went... How dare they falsely advertise, even though I felt that, like, even without the explicit developer comment saying, this is the ratio, like, just looking at the trailers, I kind of got that vibe. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Mm, I'm in hacker's memory, and I don't even have my platinum mons yet, and I just barely got all my tactician USBs. I'm not really struggling to reach the ABI requirements. So maybe, hmm, maybe... Maybe I just specifically... It could just be that I went down to specific Digivolution lines, and I'm like, I want all the cool Digimon. And then I see the the ABI requirement, and I'm like, darn you, ABI. Even though it's, like, not an issue at all. It could just be a mental thing. It could just be a mental thing where I see a restriction, and I have to do it, like, two or three times. It's not all that much. And my brain just goes, this is the worst thing ever. Oh, yeah, all the cool mons have ultra-high ABI requirements. So it could just be that I had high standards. In the end, I think the ABI system shouldn't be tied to evolution, but I could still... I wouldn't mind it as, like, a bonus stat-like checker, where it's just, like, it stops you from, like, getting all the stats you want unless you put in the effort. That might be cool. As it does already. Just do not stand in the way of evolution. Let me get all my cool Digimon friends to look cool and badass while they kill my enemies. Yeah. Overall, Digimon's story, Cyber Sleuth, is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I like the vibe. I like the characters. I like the music. And hilariously... I'm not sure if I ever said it on stream, but the, this opening theme, for some reason, really reminded me of Danganronpa. And apparently that's because the composer is the composer of Danganronpa. <laughs> Hilarious, that. But yeah. The only downsides are definitive, like, objectively the translation, because it was made on a nickel and a dime. And then all the other stuff is mostly just my personal opinion. I'm personally not all that big a fan of the ABI stuff when it comes to evolution, but who knows, maybe I blew it out of proportion. And maybe I'm just a big digi baby. And then stuff like, I wish that my partner Digimon was a partner Digimon and not just uh, another... Uh, the, n basically, I wanted a partner, not a starter. And this that's just not what this game is. So, came in with uh, expectations, which is wrong. You shouldn't go in with too many expectations. <laughs> uh, you're being such a digi egg god. Exactly. But, in the end, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is a lot of fun. The characters are great. Arata's arc is kind of funny, because he's just like, I'm the aloof cool guy, and then I'm going to become an anti-hero, anti-villain jackass, and then you're going to have to save me from myself as I become a Digimon-eating monster. <laughs> I did not expect that. I, I really liked the idea of, like, the human world and Digi-World crossing over and fusing. I still don't really know Suido's deal, but I think that just kind of makes him cooler. The eaters were interesting. The overall thing was just, like, really cool. Again, I find it hilarious that even though you're the protagonist of the story... There is a character in it, Nokia, who has all the trappings of being a Digimon protagonist. She got the Agumon, she got the Gabumon, she has the Digimon who are actually characters in this story. <laughs> but, yeah, the story's fun, the music is good, the gameplay is solid. 
I do find it ever so slightly annoying that the developers went, Oh no, we made status effects and instant deaths and stuff too powerful and we have to limit it and have it only affect the player character. I find that annoying. I know that it works on random encounters, but nobody cares about the random encounters. The only Digimon you would want to use status effects on are monsters with a lot of health and require strategies. So those are the only ones that are, like, immune to it except for character reversal for some reason. That's hilarious to me. So it definitely has it, it has its flaws, but I really like it. It's definitely a good place to begin a Digimon, like, game. Like, if you're new to Digimon games, it's probably the best place to start. Unless maybe that PSP Digimon Adventure game is good, but it was never released outside of Japan and requires a fan translation, so it's not really a easy thing to start with. So yeah, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is a lot of fun. Can't wait to check out uh, Hacker's Memory at some point. Really want to give that a shot. Think it'll be neat. It'll be interesting how the, what the protagonist would be like in that one, the characters in that one, the story in that one. That'll actually be interesting. That's something I don't know. I know nothing about Hacker's Memory, except that, like, n it depends. I think that, like, back in the, oh, you have Cyber Sleuth, you can buy the DLC Super Pack of Hacker's Memory, and it will, if you play through Cyber Sleuth, you'll get bonuses in Hacker's Memory. I'm not sure if that exists here. Who knows? Maybe I'm being dumb. But, yeah, I hope for some day for there to be a Digimon game in which the protagonist is a human who becomes a Digimon semi-permanently, and they adventure through the digital world as a Digimon, and they learn to be a Digimon. I hope that someday happens. That is my obsession. I want it to be someday. If I ever basically become stupid rich and never have to worry about my future or anything, I might hone my craft and make it myself, because I'm a maniac. I have the want to be a maniac. My will, my flesh is, my flesh is weak for now. Maybe someday. It's up there with the, my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fan game where Emmett gets thrown into Mystery Dungeon Hisui and becomes a Sneasel because they want to torture the train boys more, but meh. Anyways, yes. Thank you very much for watching. Digimon Cyber Sleuth was lots of fun. Glad I could come back and finish it. And... If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels, an edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, of which I swear edited content is coming to someday, maybe. And then, of course, the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. I stream to it and also upload all of these streams as uh, VODs and archives right there on that channel. So if you want, you can go see my reaction for the past many other Digimon Cyber Sleuth plays that I've done. Plays, well play sessions, and then other games like Pokemon Crystal, Yellow, Blue Rescue Team Mystery Dungeon, as well as Legends Arceus, actually, the M Mass Effect Trilogy, lots of games over there. Or if you prefer to watch me play games live on Twitch, I also have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash neonicywings, so long as Twitch stops imploding on itself. At least it's not as imploding as Twitter is. Mm -hmm. Which, actually, speaking of that, if you want art from me, similar to my little character in the corner, I also draw. And I need to draw more and actually upload it more. And you can find links to my various art sites like Twitter, DeviantArt, Tumblr, Inkblot, Pillowfort, all over the place. You can find links to them in my link tree. Linktr.ee slash NeonIcyWings. Also, there are links to my writing, because I write fan fiction, because I need something to get me through the horrors of reality. And if you'd like to help me through the horrors of reality, there also is a link to my Patreon, if you want to throw a few dollar dues my way to ease my soul. Hmm. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>